left right I'm back here with the new format with the friends once again um, and today it's gonna be a little different today I wanted to open up the stream a little bit to people who are brand new to the game um, for those of you who are just now joining the stream or who have just now tuned in uh, this stream is all about the scrubs, myself included, trying to get these dubs in the best way that we know how, which is just trying to get in there and get in the lab and training and having fun. Um, so I'm going to be here by myself, a little solo dolo. Uh, my task today is I'm going to learn this wonderful new character over here, Zafina. Uh, I've been antagonizing my friends with her for quite some time, so uh, I guess it's about time for me to get ready. So. Uh, until some more folks jump into the dojo here today with some conversations, I'm just going to talk to you guys about what I'm learning about Zafina. And the first thing that, I, um, that I've that i learned is that um, Fashion Souls is incredibly important. Um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I can't play a character unless they look like how I want them to look like. So that's the first thing we're going to jump in today. And then we're going to listen to... Um, an oldie but goodie, there's a guide to Zafina out here on Morning Bread and Butter. Um, if you guys don't know about that, um, product is from Level Up Your Game. If you know Rip, you know he does a lot of really good tutorials. He's been doing this for years. And uh, I'm going to sit down and try to learn some wisdom all while trying to bring up some stuff for the stream. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get everything set up here, you guys. Um, first off, let's jump into training mode. Let's get our training dummy going on and set things up. And while I do that, um, let me go ahead and get get some folks up in here real quick. Welcome All to right. the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. Okay, we got there. We got there. YouTube, two Facebooks, ah, Twitch. Twitch was what I needed. Um, Twitch.tv backslash Combo Breakers. Twitch.tv backslash combo breakers. Let me drop that audio down because why do I need audio? I don't know. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and jump in here. Uh, let me jump in on the chat. Where is. Why is it that these things never want me to win? Y'all never want me to win, huh? Never, ever, 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 ever want me to win. I can't even get simple windows up. If anybody has a way to manage chat a little better across multiple platforms, Please let your boy know because I'm out here struggling. All right, here we go. Now, now I'm finally, finally in this thing. Um, theater mode? No theater mode. Where's my chat, man? Here we go. Chat options. All right, so let me just move this over here since it wants to be a butt. I don't like when things are being a butt. All right. Um. Quick little setup here, Scrubs City, and then uh, the Combo Breakers page, which should be live. I don't know why it's not live. Oh, yeah, I am live. Ha ha. Ha ha. I knew that. I totally knew that. It was just seeing if you guys knew. Um, that's very important. Uh, let's see here Facebook, Scrub City, Combo Breakers. All right, let me. But while we listen here, let's not listen in silence. Let me go ahead and crank up these tunes for y'all. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this Facebook chat up now. This time. I won't miss any chat dialogues, at least I don't think I will. Last time I missed a few missed a few chats on some other channels and I was not particularly happy about that. And why it won't let me share this on Combo Nation, I don't know why, let's see. Cause I wanna go live with this on Combo Nation. Um,
I guess I gotta do a watch party. Ah, that's how it goes. Watch parties. Okay. Um, watch party. Nah, I'll do the watch party. Uh, live. Hey, B -S B -E -S -N TV sharing the post. Appreciate it. Everybody go ahead and check out the Black Esports Network TV. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, let me, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if I could freestyle, I would, guys. But I can't. So. One of these days I'm gonna figure out how to actually get all this stuff to be viewed live across all channels but until then let's go ahead and get some folks up in here um, first up let's get uh, let's get streak let's get streak meso in here and let's get long let's get them both in here D Weave, what's good, fam? What's good? What's good, yo? Why isn't uh, what's up with Twitch, yo? I'm supposed to be live right now. Why the chat not showing up? D Weave, what's good, man? Today we got some uh, two things on my agenda today, right? Number one, I got some new guys coming in. I'm trying to make the stream a little bit more friendly to the newer faces. I got some feedback from some folks that may be too shy to say what's up in the chat or too shy to um, come in and get some games. So I'm just gonna try to lower the altitude just a little bit, right? Um, and so I'm thinking a good way to do that. Wow, why is my... Oh wait, I'm about to say, why is my... What's the name acting like that? Oh, it's because I scrolled up. Okay, I was about to say what? Let's let's fix that real quick. Bam. Bang it. Got a little Wu Tang mix for us today, but yeah, one I'm gonna learn me some Zafina. So that's that's what we all gonna learn today. So one, y'all can stop saying she's cheap. Y'all can learn her too, and then you'll know exactly how you're gonna get hurt. You can get bodied in the precise way. 
And then no one will no one will be able to um Ooh, excuse me. Talk about how cheap she is. Um and then the other thing too is I'm gonna talk to some new guys today about Tekken. So I got um I'm inviting Streak Meso and my homie Long. Uh, and Long is just uh, he's coming he's crossing over from Street Fighter, right? So you know of course he's picking up Akuma. And um, we already know Streak Meso is the wild card with Master Raven. And today we're gonna just talk some basics. Um, I got my I got my got me my new my new my new witchy. <laughs> witchy kung fu chick and today i'm gonna also learn work on some zafina as well so um i like to say a good welcome hi how are you doing that's not a way to sign off it's not a way to say what's up hey uh d weave check the audio levels for me um let me let me know whether or not my um my uh my audio for the game is good You know, does that sound good? Uh, let's see. I see. Mm, 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 come on. Y'all know I was about to land that. So yeah, I'm gonna learn on work on some just some Zafina stuff. I've got the guide over here to my left, so that's where we're gonna be taking some cues from today. Um, we're also gonna be just looking over some frame data and mm, oh, excuse me, and just checking out some general strategies. How uh, how did the homework go, D Weave? Let me. How, how, did you guys ever finish your homework last night for the Tech and Tech University? Speaking of, if you're just now joining me, shout out to the Tech and Tech University. Um, and actually, let me go ahead and jump into. Hey, what's up? Can you hear? Yo, yo. Come on, D Weave, let me, let me adjust my audio here. Yo. Chilling, chilling. What's good? What's good? I'm chilling, man. So you in practice? Are we doing any uh, multiplayer? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. So the format's changed up a bit. If you're watching on the stream, you'll see I've got a new scene. Uh, and in this scene, it's more of like a uh, just chatting in the dojo, right? Before I get down to pressing buttons and punching faces in, learning all these techniques, I want to hear from... For the folks who I usually bring in, in this part of the show, you being one of those people at this point. Um, and let's talk about some stuff, man. First of all, how you been? Oh, man, I've been good. I've been doing a lot of rest. <laughs> I, I, I hear that. <laughs> a lot of rest, you know. I haven't been partying like I used to do. Uh, I hear that, man. I took me a little bit of a rest last December, and let me tell you, man, it was probably the best thing I've ever done for myself. You know, I'm I, I'm I, I'm prone to just going in balls to the wall and just not really worrying about the effects until later on almost like some eight gates type stuff like oh man i'm dead i guess did i did i win <laughs> you know what i'm saying so have you been playing some tekken recently what you been on um mostly been playing like uh some super smash brothers oh who you been on um well you know they have the one versus one tournaments so you know, I just play that sometimes. Um, I feel I you. I haven't played Tekken in a minute, but, you know, that's why we're here. You know, yeah. We're the dub, so, yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. All right. So, um, when you were last playing Tekken, right, let me know what was some of the things that you was working on at the time? Um, I'm still working on the movement. Still working on movement. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so bet. Let's just start on there. So, give me, tell me a little bit about your um, experience with movement in Tekken, as well as what have you been working on? Maybe like what kind of roadblocks? Mostly, I want to hear how you feel. This part of the segment is all about getting these emotions out and figuring out what we can actually work on versus just kind of like you know pounding in buzzwords and tech into people's heads. So yeah, let me know what, what you've been. What, what, what's what's up with movement? Like what's um what you've been working on with that? Okay, as far as movement, um, really I've just been learning movement in general. Hmm. Um, just trying to like dodge in the foreground and in the background. Um, but one of the things is Raven has a move where she can like dash forward like really quick. And she's able to do like her special moves from that, so okay. that's really what I've been. Uh, I've been doing a lot of combos with that. Okay, okay. And so, how do you? Um, how much? How about how much move? I remember last time we talked, you were really trying to work on uh, this technique right here, which is a Korean backdash. Huh. Oh yeah. Um. Well, really, I mean, I just like tuned in to your uh, to your live stream, and I was watching that. Um, I haven't tried it because uh, you know I've been doing some life stuff too. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I haven't uh, been on my Tekken game like that, but that's why I'm here. You know, we're about to get back on it. I'm sure probably later tonight we're gonna have us like probably some small matches in. Way later on, way later on. Before that, I want to play a little, um, a little game with you, right? Um, All right. So I got a way that I practice movement and a way that I've come to understand movement uh, in this game. Um, so because of the hitbox and because of the nature of it, I have understood that movement in this game is the other half of the coin in the same way as doing your combos. Okay. So I'm gonna run that back for everybody else in church. So if you look at the screen real quick, right? Let's jump in through here real quick, right? I got, I got. Uh, let me actually get the hitbox cam up in here too. That's what I was missing last time. Y'all was, y'all was talking about my ashy old man ankles. All right, we we ain't gonna let you see my ugly toes. They real ugly, y'all. It's just, just avert your eyes and avert your gaze. We gonna focus in on, <laughs> on um. On the screen here for a little bit and you know what let me, while I'm at it let me go ahead and drop a notice in the group I always forget to let people know that I'm actually just like you know I'm on you know um, so wait, how do I do this again it's been so long but yeah movement is something that's very um, uh, particular in Tekken and we don't never pay no attention to it because what's the first thing you do when you jump into Tekken and, and try to learn a new character what's like your first thing you want to do um shoot first thing I want to do mm-hmm dang uh I would just say I would want to know like just something that's I want to know like there you know how when in Tekken you can just like body blow someone with the character like use their body to hit them mm -hmm. so i want to find yeah. out i, I want to find out that type of move from a character so you know how uh oh the one that makes the opponent like double over kind of like the stun like almost like soul caliber um it'll make them like kind of hit the ground but it's like they use their body like uh what's his name fame he does oh with the, the back shoulder blow yeah, I like to learn those types of moves. Okay, 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 okay. All right. And so, do where do you, where do you go from there? Um, from there, um, to be honest, man, like me, I'm just a person that's just like about doing. So mm -hmm. when I get a character, I'll just get that character and I'll go in and play and just keep doing it and um, learn the moves as I go. And then, you know, you go to practice, you see, you know, okay, what are the specific types of moves? And then I go back in 
and keep trying those moves and it's just like the the thousand kicks you okay know, you, you did the thousand kicks so many times that it's like wow okay i'm actually good now okay so you you i guess you approach this as um what i like to call you approach this in the way of a um so there's three styles of play right in tekken right well not really in tekken well really in all fighting games it's just a philosophy there's no hard rules or correct things or whatever right we've got three types of pokemon when it comes to fighting games right you've got the body type which you are right these these types of players they get in and they do they actually have to get their hands on the button and do an action thousands of times a thousand kicks that you mentioned earlier right to kind of let it get like into their muscle memory you know what i'm saying and after they've done the move a thousand or so times it's like they don't have to think about it quite as much in real battle and then exactly. um then they can just do they could just like live and breathe right um, and they kind of cross over a lot with the, and I, I get most of us have a, a pretty solid body base if we're thinking of three stats, right? The next type of character or player is thinking about uh, DJ Cap and my homie Sir Bilbo Swaggins, right? They're heart players, right? They don't know frame data. They don't know abilities or tactics. I mean, they do, but I'm just saying, you know, just for the sake of highlighting, right? um yeah. they play with this right here if you play in smash bros mago was a heart player you know what i'm saying um poke chop in tekken he a heart player hell anakin <laughs> anakin is a heart player both don't none of them know frames they don't need to because they play off of pure instincts they've literally got that taste for blood they know when to throw a button instinctively they don't necessarily need to know the frames because they feel it right and then you got people like me on the villainous side. They're the mind players, right? We actually have to learn the frame advantage, learn the data. I need to know parameters so I can think around. I'm scheming all the time, you know what I'm saying? Up in <laughs> that's, that's, that's me. Um, but, uh, and you know, no one person is a pure type, right? Um, but I tend to skew on the mind type so I don't necessarily do a lot of the movements by hand as much, right? I kind of get the gist, and I'll get enough of the handsiness in there as time progresses, right? Um, but what I do run into um, is that each, each player has a weakness, right? So the mind player usually, like myself, lacks heart. So you think about things to make up for the heart that you're lacking. I don't take a lot of risks. I don't do a lot of, you know, it's just like, uh, I'm not gonna throw out some willy nilly stuff unless you just put me into the corner where I just scrub out, right? Um, yeah. Your heart player tends to beat the mind player a lot because while I'm too busy thinking, you, it's, it's so much faster to react to a situation than think about it. And then when a heart player pulls out some random stuff because they felt like doing a Captain Falcon knee from across the way and you're thinking it's impossible, like, you end up in an anime. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he's gonna do this! And then, you know, you, you, you in the cutscene but on the wrong end, you know? Um, the body player tends to get beat by the mind player. Um, oh wait, uh, heart beats mind. Body usually beats heart because body people, the advantage on the higher ends is that they're like, um, desk. You know Desk, he's always doing those high-end combos. People who are good at combos are body people. They've been, Dragon Ball Fighter people have the high body stat. You know what I'm saying? They're always doing these incredibly, you know, crazy, crazy um, combos. But they practice a lot, right? And your complete fighter, of course, is all of them. So knowing that you're a body player, that's going to be great in order to kind of like figure out how we're going to do this training, right? Um, cause I want you to learn a little bit, a little something here today before we do some matches. And even when we do some matches, we're going to learn, you know, talk about it first, right? Then we're going to learn some things, right? Uh, and then we're going to do some, some mini games. I like to call them lobby mini games. We have, I have this movement mini game that I want to run you through. Um, and then we're going to go over some basic movements you probably don't know, right? And then we're going to take it back over to 
some advanced movements you probably do know, like the Weibu Weibu and the, the Korean Backdash. And then I'm going to teach you the difference between offensive movements and defensive movements and why. All right? There are some okay. movements you're only going to use to defend, and there's sim there similar movements you're only going to use to approach. Right? And we're going to go over a little bit, and I'm going to go over this as many times as people want, to be honest, because a lot of this stuff is refresher for myself. Because I don't understand movement like that much anyway, you know? Um, so, let me go ahead. Um, let me go ahead. Alright, let's get it. Alright, let's get it, let's get it. Let me just drop this post real quick, let people know to jump in on the stream. And if you're watching here at home, um, y'all go ahead and let your boy know. You know, share it out with your friends, man. Share it out with anybody you know uh, to come in and check out some of this movement. D-Weave sitting in the back doing some homework. So let's get on this movement. Now, as far as moving techniques goes, right? Well, you probably... Hold on, hold on, Mario. Before you do that, though. What's up? Before you What's get up? To the movement, oh, so go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have to go over the story behind this, man. Okay. Okay. Basically, like. The thing that made me want to learn movement is I faced a guy that was like way higher ranked than me in mm -hmm. tech. And um, he was using Fang and he was doing some advanced movements. And I'm sitting there trying to hit him like so many times and my usual moves that hit people, it just didn't hit him. And I'm sitting there like Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm saying? Like Vegeta going at sale. And he's not hitting anything. He's just dodging all the moves. So that's pretty much what got me started on like waiting and movement. I don't know. For some reason, I'm feeling this the most advanced thing. But I remember you said it was some other things that's even more advanced than movement. So, so let's get it. What you were probably in encountering was a little something that looks like this. If you check out the screen here, I'm looking. They were just doing this, getting out of your way. You know what I'm saying? Look how fast the bat, I'm not even good at it. Mm. That's the Korean backdash stuff, where if you're on hitbox, you can cheat and just hold back and press. Oh, See, wow. yeah. This is why I play hitbox, man. I'll, I'm, not, I'm not into fighting the controller to play a game. Um, but, he was doing this, and he was you were probably chasing and chasing and chasing, and like, yo, I can't get close to him. And the messed up part about that is, at any point in time, off the back dash, you throw out a button, he can go in and whip punish. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Boom, and now you're launched. In the air. You know, don't care. And they're just making a fool of you. That has happened to me so many times, and it's always with somebody who's superior at movement, right? So when you're on the other side of that, it feels like, and let me know if this feels the same way to you, but for me, it usually feels like my legs are stuck in quicksand. Yeah. Does that, does that, it feels like they on some Rock Lee type stuff and their weights are off of their feet and you over here stuck. <laughs> and I mean, I ain't do, I, 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 that's how I feel. I don't know about hey, anybody man. else out there. That's exactly how I felt. Like, it's like Rock Lee was in his first fight with Sasuke, and he just straight up, you know, bodied the man. And it's like, wait, what's going on? Like, how how did he beat that man? Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to, I'm going to show you some remedies, but we're going to start small, though, right? So these individual steps, imagine for a second, they are little Lego pieces, each individual step that I'm going to show you is a Lego piece, right? And imagine each of these Lego pieces have a different color. Now, in order to create a giant castle of pain, you're going to have to stack these Lego pieces in a particular order, right? That is how movement works. Movement is an in Tekken. The reason why it's so smooth is because it is a chain of little maneuvers that form a long sentence that you use to beat your opponent with. You're literally wrapping circles around them with the bars, right? So I'm gonna teach you some of these bars. Write them down because they're really easy for, to forget, like comically easy to forget and easy to discount. But every time I go back and remember them, I have so much more control over the match 
and my opponent and for me being a mind player i need control i need time to think i need time to analyze i don't like being rushed down so guess what that means i gotta stay moving right unless i'm gone ryu and you know he's too big to be moving but i've got somebody with me zafina way better on movement and so uh part of the reason why i picked this character up unbeknownst to everybody else d weave in the chat probably gonna let me know that um this is a lie i see you d weave <laughs> but um everybody thinks i picked this character because she cheat i didn't know she was cheap i haven't really seen anybody playing with her i thought she was trash to be honest um and i, I've, I haven't seen him online i haven't like don't nobody want to play this character um except for sonic fox for some reason and Arson Ash and Shadow. Those are the only three that I know. So I'm like, oh cool, this is my type of character. Just like Ganryu, I can have my own little character and she's good at movement. So the first thing we're gonna learn is very basic. I'm, I, and I hate to bring this back to the basics, but um, if you can, jump into practice mode and do these with me, right? Um, I really want, actually, let me go ahead and set up my 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 tech in um my tech in movement um scene here all right all right all right i'm starting up starting it up yeah yeah all right let me get my movement tracker boom Woo boy look at the scene look at the scene boy look look look, look. hey so that way y'all can see these movements y'all can see these movements okay so this is gonna be real basic, but you said moving into the foreground and background, right? Super. Hell yeah, dog. Hey, y'all. Hey, yo, hmm? but Mario. He also was doing some other shit too. Like oh, he was. There's he a was lot of other from stuff. From the side. He was moving from the side, side to huh? side. He was doing the. Uh, you said what? Korean back dash that you said too. Four twenty for like twenty five to thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Throw some like garlic butter on, huh? I think he said 420. Hold on, we're we trying to check on some pizza puffs right now. Okay, okay. Hey, yo. I might, I might have to slide through to the crib. DW pizza Davis, puff. appreciate it. Yo, yo, yo. DW Davis, dog. This is this is the Scrubs to Dubs channel right here. We're all about learning video games. And so I try to put my my stream over here to make it like more fundamental to get the message across. And this one is just like, we, we working on some movement today. So I got, usually have music and I'm usually vibing. So we got like this little DDR thing, but I got a new student with me today. Appreciate you for jumping through by the way. Um, and uh, shout outs to everybody joining on Facebook right now. I see you viewers out there. Don't think I don't see you and everybody on Twitch, much love and appreciation. I got two scenes with me, man. So let me roll over to the other scene where I usually have a co-host or a guest over here, but we got some Zafina guides going on. We got the gameplay down here. And of course, the chat's right here. And today we are talking about Tekken movement. And we're talking about bare bones basics. Um, uh, one thing with the channel, I'm, I'm really, my heart goes out to everyone who's just now learning the game and just trying to figure some things out. Um, Cause that's where I'm really at, man. I'm really trying to figure stuff out myself. So. Um, what I'm really trying to do today is go over with a new student, um, my man Street Meso. We're just going to figure out some basics. If you got any questions about tech and movements, throw them in the chat. Well, I mean, any, any questions about anything, to be honest. I mean, I'll talk about everything, but um, we'll discuss it here um, and keep it going. But I appreciate you jumping in. You know what I'm saying? Steel oh, Tiger 996, what's good? What's good? I appreciate you coming through. I love everybody in this community, man. Like y'all, y'all make y'all make this streaming stuff real worth it. So let's get back to the movement real quick. Um, and for everybody who wants to join in um, and learn a little bit about this stuff too, I encourage you to crank up Tekken, get into practice mode because we're gonna be here for a little bit before we get some of these matches in, and um, try to follow along. And if you can't follow along, I will show you everything. Don't worry about it. But let's get it on the poppin'. Basics. So let me go ahead and clear out all of these inputs so we know we do one whole round around Heihachi. Basic, basic, right? Okay. Um, okay. So this is going to sound really redundant, but I'm going to start you with the four moving blocks. Down, just tapping down. Up, okay. just tapping up. You see my inputs. 
right? All right. Just tapping forward. Do you see how she made a little move there? A little step forward? Yeah. You watch. So you Let me get some distance on him real quick. Do you see how she just kind of look, took a little step? I can't Wait see. Wait a minute, but. Hmm? Hold on. You, oh, okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. What you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you looking at? What you looking at? All right. So you just press like just over. Just did a little step. Okay. Just a little step forward. That is, in a, that is a movement tool that nobody will tell you about, right? And I can't tell you how important that is. And then the next movement is double tap back, which is your back dash. Those are your basic movements. And why they're important is because of this little exercise here. I call it the do -si do Sidestep cancels into any other movement like a Street Fighter cancel, right? Sidestep forward. You see what I'm saying? Little subtle movement. But look, I'm able to sidestep while advancing on you. If you threw out a linear move at any point in time while I was sidestepping, I got you behind. You see what I'm saying? Oh, she doesn't really have any sidestep move like on you, but you see what I'm saying? Now, oh, yeah. here, here's the thing. So did you, did you get the cancel? Your input should look like this, down forward, one, two. Now I have a hitbox, so it's really easy for me to just hit those inputs, right? But now forward, right? And I'm, there's a reason why I'm not teaching you forward dash yet, because that's how most of y'all get caught up by a random mid that's been thrown out there. Forward cancels into a sidestep. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, this yeah, is a I'm cancel. Actually, I'm actually, um, I have the practice mode open. I'm actually doing it as well. So uh, now what I want sense. you to do is rock with me for a little bit, right? We're going to do three movements. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit so you can kind of hear the me going to the rhythm. And there's a specific reason why I got this little boom bat music going on, a little old school Wu-Tang. It's not just because of the Kung Fu vibes, y'all. I promise you, it does have implications, right? And like I said, this is very bare bones. So if you're in the chat looking at me like, this dummy teaches people how to press, press basic buttons, it's kind of the point. Um, so look, one, two, three, right? One, two, three. Look at this, one, two. Check it out, check it out. One, two, three. 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 Now, this isn't any specific tactical movement. This is just to get your mind. Oh, yeah. Steel, Steel Tiger, I'm about to get into backdash and sidestep and sidewalk in a minute. We, we, we about to build on top of this right here. So, the do -si do is one, two, one, two, three, one, two. That sidestep cancels into backdash. And when I say cancel, that means the first frame of your sidestep can be canceled into a backdash. First frame. As fast as the first frame or as slow as the last one. So you're gonna do down, forward, up, backdash. Down, forward, up, backdash. One, two, three, bop, bop. One, two, three, bop, bop. You hear that rhythm? You know what I just thought about randomly? What up, what up? You remember that main song? Breathe, stretch, shake. Hey, look, yo, we need to, hey, if they could, if they didn't copyright, if they wouldn't copyright us, I would definitely put that May song on. Y'all would learn this, but check this out. So what, what your goal is when you're practicing movement, right? It's going to be very repetitive and very stupid at first. This is why I always suggest that people do this with music or watching Netflix because you want your mind to get used to these rules so that you use them in live context. So it's one, two, three, back dash. One, two, three, back dash. You want to be able to get that so you're going in a square. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You keep the cadence up, right? So I'm going to try to do it. Did you say like what? So you're doing uh, down, forward? Or so like yeah. What? So down, forward, up, back dash. Down, forward, up, back dash. Now look at my inputs. I'm going to try to get the perfect ones. Down, forward, up, back dash. Down, forward, up, back dash. Now I'm not canceling. I'm just doing them, doing them, 
So I'm gonna try to pick up the tempo with, right? You see that? I mess it up sometimes. One, two, three. Hey, Mari, I want to say something for the audience right quick. Um, guys, fundamentals, this small stuff that he's saying right here, this is king. Like, these are the small things that the high level player, and because, like, I'm actually pretty good at these games, but when you actually face high level players, and even some of the things I do, it's the small stuff. So, you guys you gotta learn this stuff that you teach. See, already my movement, I've seen people like Rel at tournaments do this so fast that he's just walking in a circle in front of you, not moving forward or backwards, but slowly advancing, slowly sidestepping, backdashing. And we're gonna show you how cool this is gonna be here in a minute. But let me know when you kind of get the rhythm for it, when it starts making sense for you. Okay, okay. Now, are you playing on a D-pad, uh, hitbox, fight stick? What are you playing on? Uh, just the regular pad, the regular D-pad. Okay, so you should be able to keep up along. Now, are you able to do one or two, let's say three full rotations? Um, you, now, when you do it, you should I be moving back. At this whole thing, I'm slightly moving backwards, and I'm still faking you out because you don't know how I'm gonna apply the rest of it. This is just a movement exercise, right? So that's the first thing I wanted to show you today. It's a movement warm-up exercise. I usually try to get, like, slow it down at first, and then I try to go on to the other side, um, and then, then try it on the other direction, because you gotta be ambidextrous in Tekken, right? Um, And uh, this is gonna help with your dexterity, right? So, how you feeling about this? Um, it's it's like riding a bike, bro. Like I'm literally on the training wheels. On the training wheels. And um, you know, we're getting there. Okay, okay. So your by, homework by for a little bit days, with this, right? Right. Write it down. Write it down. Every day. All right. You're going to want to do. And a whole square is one, is forward, or however you want to start it, down, forward, up, backdash. Backdash can cancel if you just backdash down. And you don't have to do this fast, right? You see how backdash cancels into sidestep? Back, back up, back, back up, back, back down, back, back down. That means as fast as you can input this is as fast as it goes and that's how people in Tekken gain all this ridiculous speed while you're stuck in the mud. They're taking advantage of these basic cancels. Because they're able to cancel their movement into another bit of movement, guess what that means? <laughs> they're not limited by this getting stuck in the sand business. You know what doesn't Dude, cancel into each other? Sand, bro. I literally was in the sand. I was like Gara, and they were like Rock Lee. Then they were floating. I see it. Now, yeah. So what happens is forward cancels into back, right? It cancels. It, it just doesn't cancel into itself, right? That's where people get stuck. They're trying to do this. Look at this. Look how slow. Look how many times I'm pressing back, and we're used to be seeing stuff like this. because you're, And then you're holding backwards, creeping back real slow, where if you knew backdash cancels into anything that's not a backdash then a Korean backdash is backdash duck backdash duck backdash duck and you keep speeding that up and then you, thus you get to break out of but we'll get to the Korean backdash in a little bit but first lesson in the dojo right is that square step 
Sometimes I just do the square step when I don't know what to do, but I don't want to stay still. People be like, oh, what is he doing? Botting time. All right, so we got that part though, right? The whole point of that was to get that. Now, I want you to do, and I'm gonna ask you about this every day. It's not gonna take All you right. very long. 10 of those circles on each side. Start off with that. And when I say 10, I want you to make sure as Leffen says, it's most important to get the input correct. Let me show you on the screen. Get this input over here correct before trying to get the speed. Precision first, then speed, right? Don't matter if you do this 500 times per second and you messing up half the inputs, you gonna get stuck, right? people who are doing those perfect Korean backdashes and running away from you with, with the greatest of ease, they're hitting this sequence perfectly and fast. So that's the first thing. So let's build off of that real quick, right? So we have these cardinal directions. They're very basic. We haven't gotten into anything particularly fancy yet, right? So what if I told you that if, the, the, if, if sidestep can cancel into forward, like a down forward, down forward, down forward, I can tell you that sidestep cancels into block immediately as well. So guess what? If your sidestep cancels into your block on the first frame, I can sidestep an unsafe move and still have time to block it. Oh wow. So if you throw out a jab and I sidestep it, one of two things is gonna happen. I'ma block it and punish you, or I'ma sidestep it and punish you. And I don't have to think either way because I have the knowledge already that side steps cancel into duck. Look at that. Look how fast. I'm sidestepping and ducking. I'm moving like an inch. Look how fast that cancels. Or I could take a big step or I could sidewalk and then do it. Mm. You know what? That looks familiar. That looks like what that guy was doing. The guy was doing the guy was doing what we call tech and movement. And tech and movement comprises of a mil I'm te I've taught you the first move of tech and movement. <laughs> sidestep into block, sidestep into duck. Let me show you how effective that is. So I'm gonna set the computer to do Oh dang, I can't record on here yet, can I? Dang. Um Do I have my controller? I might be able to... I'm gonna have to try it on a controller because I can't set record on my hitbox, which sucks. Oh, never mind, my controller's dead. Anyway, um, how am I gonna do this then? Oh, I know how. You want PlayStation, right? Yeah. I'm gonna invite you to a party we're gonna share play, right? Now, this is gonna be not the best experience, right? But it'll allow us both to jump into, um, to jump into some, some things here. Where is, I was supposed to be inviting my homie Long here too. Where, where is he at? Cardo, da 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 da. Okay, he just accepted the invite, yo. And chill with the fam for a few minutes beyond in 30 to 45 minutes. All right, bet, bet. So he's going to jump in here probably when we're doing some practice. So it's all good. We'll catch up with this stuff later on. Let's start a new... Start a new... Uh, start a new party here. All right, so with this, uh, I think um, McJump actually showed us this on our first time out, so. Um... So when you jump in with this share play, what we're gonna do is we're gonna share the same game. It's gonna allow me to, um, it's gonna allow me to, uh, act. we're gonna actually be able to play in practice mode online real quick, so that should be, fingers crossed. Mm. 
play with it. Okay. okay. Shot you an invite. You should get that. Let me know when you when you've jumped in because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you control of Heihachi here. Let me let you know when let, let me know when you've um when you've gotten in. Looking for the notification. Heihachi, I want you to do jab and then down forward one in rapid succession. See, it's going to be like this. Mm -hmm. And down forward square. I don't, yeah, you, you got to sit but I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, square, down forward, uh, diagonal forward and square. Should be an uppercut. Okay. All right, let me see if that works. There you go. There we go. Alright, so what you want to do is jab and then do that. Oh yeah, keep keep practicing. I want you to hit me. There we go. Alright, let's do two jabs for now. So two jabs is something that a lot of people will do to try to get off you. Like, oh I'm gonna jab in your face all day, right? You ever been in this situation? Oh yeah. Watch this. Jab at me. Jab. And then jab again. Cool. Now watch this. Go ahead. Keep doing. You can keep jabbing. Just jab, jab. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to be annoying. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. You got. You got to see this happen. Cause all I'm doing is pressing one of those cardinal buttons. This is exactly what they're doing. Crazy. This is not a side step. This is a side slip. You ever notice how a boxer will slip your punch? That's what this is. That is funny. Now you jab, 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 jab. Like that. You're trying to, you ain't trying to give me no space. You're trying to stuff me out. Because guess what? If you, if you stop pressing jab, I can hit you. So you already committed to jabbing, you know what I'm saying? You're, so you're like, man, I got to jab, 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 you know? You see how that's, see once you somebody knows how to step, now I could have backdashed. Now if I step, I'm, I'm getting a punish. Nice, nice. You see what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Uh, who do you you play a raven, right? Let me let me switch characters. So switch somebody you actually know how to play with. Um, simple select. I got Zafina. Confirm. Let's go to Raven real quick. Now, unfortunately, this this isn't the best for showing you how to do movement, but just as as good to explain application of movement, right? Um, where's Raven? And then uh. -huh. Make sure it's a master. Oh, master rate. Yeah. All right. Got to put the master in front of it. Definitely got to put the master in front of it. Got to, man. Look at how right. bad she is. All right. Cool. All right. So, what is your what? What do you use to pressure people with Raven? Pressure people. I I do use this jab right here. Two, two jabs. Pretty good. Which one? 
the, the, the two jabs. Okay, so jab and then do two jabs. Like jab to check me and then do two jabs. Yeah. Now if you pause like that, I'm gonna I'm hit you. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually people do this so that you can't hit them in between. You know what I'm saying? If you try to hit me, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna catch you, Steph, and I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. This. See, you can't, you can't Korean back dash. And all I gotta do is keep throwing mids at you, and you can't duck. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta sidestep, and then I can do all kinds of stuff at that point. You know? So what happens is, um, so yeah, throw jab and one two jab one two. You see how the movement is meant to be worked in Tekken? That is really nice. So you're just pressing down? Just down. Like you're just just oh, down. Wow. Now watch this. I don't know if you'll be able to try it because of our connection, but I'm just gonna keep throwing jabs at you. Here's the trick. Eat a jab and then tap up. After the like when the jab hit or as you're blocking. Because remember, okay. block uh, movement can is a cancelable thing. So hit me with a jab. Keep hit me a jab. The minute I finish blocking, I move. Okay. That means I ain't standing there for the next hit, right? So if I jab, I'm gonna go at this pace. Block then move. Block then move. Block then move. Block. There we go. Block move. Block move. Block, move, and it's just one tap. Block, tap. Think of like a Smash Bros. short hop. Oh yeah, that's why. See, I was pressing it, pressing it too tough. When you hold it, that's when you get the jump. That's a full hop, we don't want that. You want short hops. So tap up, tap down, tap up, tap forward, double tap backwards. That's the kind of pressure you want to use when it comes to Tekken and movement. Now this, me double tapping backward, back right here. Yeah. That's so small though. That's very small. And that's why you need to learn how to do what we call the back dash cancel. <laughs> you don't just, now my back dash is huge but it's because my character has the largest back dash in the game. But, okay. Look how much distance I get with a back dash, with a back dash cancel. Right, we'll learn that later on. But right now we're learning the importance of just doing short hops. Because without learning this, you won't do the Korean back dash. You won't do wavu wavu. You won't do, you know, fancy defensive and offensive maneuvers like dash blocking. You're too heavy handed. You gotta break that. Cool. This is why I was telling you um, earlier that like a lot of people think Korean backdashing is the end-all be-all They don't even know the, the building blocks to get up to it. So let's continue now jab 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 hit So you remember you want to time it jab block move. There you go block move There you go block move the other way We're gonna start this slow until you until you get it Stick and move. Stick, move. Stick, move. Stick, move. Stick, move. There you go. There you go. There we go. All right, you got a couple of them in there. You're doing pretty good. Keep going. I'm only throwing jabs. Now I'm going to switch it up. This move here should catch you if you sidestep to your right. This is where the other part of movement comes in and teching. Knowing where the heck you're going to sidestep to. Unlike Soul Calibur, just because you did a horizontal movement, it's not going to block all the vertical moves. Watch my hand. Which direction would you guess this move is gonna hit you in? If you stepped. If I move up, if I move up. Exactly, because I'm using that hand and I'm slapping you across the face. She basically boxes off this whole, um, this whole area, right? So you see her stance, right? You see my hands. She's lead hand smacking you, right? Meaning if you step to this direction, she's gonna smack you. So if you want to avoid this type of move, which, you, there you go. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do jab, and then I'm gonna do this. Your, your, your aim is to dodge the second hit, right? Jab, boom, right? So you're gonna eat the block, step. Eat the block, step. Eat the block, step. 
There you go. Just tap. I don't want to see you walk. That's a side walk. When you double tap, double tap and hold, that's a side walk. That's a specific direction. We're not we're not there yet. It's too advanced. Cool. Young Tanjiro. Cool. Too advanced. So stick, move. Stick, keep move. Like stick, like. move. That's because you're holding it. A hold is a duck. Short hops, bro. Notice, notice when I said this right here. Short hops. Short hops. Short hops. Hey, all right, bet, bet, bet. We gotta jump in on Discord real quick. Um, Long's about to join us here, but keep practicing those real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add him in on the Discord. Um, let me give him. A, send him an invite. Practice it. There you go. Taps. Taps. Short hops. All right. This is insane. I didn't even know I needed this. That's because no one will ever tell you because everybody's going to tell you to Korean backdash all day like a dumbass. You're going to get clapped. Yeah. I swear they're, they're they're telling people misinformation on purpose so that they continue to get clapped. This is what we call a slip in boxing. You're slipping attacks. And when you look at the sidestep guides and say, hey, sidestep somebody to the left or the right, this is what they're talking about. Right? If this move was a launcher, you'd be like, oh, against Safina, you got to sidestep right. Because if you sidestep left, and it's hard to tell left and right with Raven's silly stance, because she's all turned to the side. But sidestepping left and sidestepping right means sidestep to your left or your right. Right? So your left right now is down. Your right is up. When you switch over on the other side, it's going to be inverted because my right is down on this side and my left is up. Okay. Alright, let me, let me message him real quick. They are keeping all the secrets, but you know, these it's not, not it's not really not secrets. Think think about it is this like this is ancient kung fu and this game has been out for so long that um that uh that these are like white belt skills. So yeah, this is, um, let me send him a message real quick, jump back in here. Okay. Sorry. It's all good. All right, press start again. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Stick, move, stick, move, stick, move, block, move, block. I want to see you block, then move. So what happens is, what's cool, you know, in Street Fighter, how you can cancel like a punch into a Shoryuken and not do the whole movement. Yeah. So while you're blocking, if you tap down while you're in the middle of blocking, they will sidestep immediately out of block. Okay. So, block, dodge, block, dodge. I want to take the hit first. Do not be afraid to take hits in Tekken. Block, dodge. Blocking is your friend. Block, dodge. All right, block. Remember, block, dodge. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. You're getting close. Block, dodge. Uh, for some reason, like, when you should get hit. All right, try it again. It's a, there should be a little bit of lag, so don't get too frustrated. It is share play. Block, dodge. All right. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. 
We're gonna do this until it works. Don't worry about it. There you go. Block, dodge. Block, dodge. Kick, push. It's all in the mind. Kick, push. It's all in the mind. <laughs> Don't. Now, now, here's what I'm noticing that you're doing. You're anticipating and trying to dodge ahead of time. Eat the block. See the words high, then dodge. Okay. Yo, long. What's good? What's good? What's up? All right. Um, let me see if I can uh, do a little audio check with you guys here. Um, let me drop this down a bit. Let me drop this down a bit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see. User volumes all the way up. Um. Let's crank up desktop audio just a little bit because I want to hear you guys. I right, say so long. Leave me. Give me some audio. Yo, check. Mic check. Okay. Uh, Meso. Yeah, yeah. Let me hear you. What's up? What's up? All right, both of y'all. Give me some like. Oh wait, I don't know if y'all want to disturb anybody in y'all's house or anything, but. All right. We can do it. Bet, bet, bet. So we 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 here chilling today. So long. Let me catch you up on what we what we've been working on, right? We were going a little bare bones today. Um, back to basics. A little fun fun facts about movements, which is um, the thing that people don't really like get to get get to understand in Tekken because it's so much more involved than other fighting games. Um, so. Jump in on uh, if you haven't already looked at to look jump in on the Twitch channel so you can see what we're talking about right now. Right. Um, so we're going over some some um, some some uh, some movement techniques, some drills. So I'm gonna quickly run through everything that I that, that we've done so far. It's very basic, dog. Like this is like elementary, elementary, but it's so crucial to tech in. That without these building blocks, you're not going nowhere on the higher level. At least, to me, I don't think you're going anywhere. That's facts. Yeah, I'm saying. Um, Meso, keep practicing. Do this. Go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. One move, one button, one movement. One button, one movement. Even if you got to slow it down, keep working on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, while you do that in the corner, I'm going to go over the rest of this stuff that we done caught up with with Long here. Long, let me know when you got some visuals on. Uh, what's the name of the uh, channel? Um, it's going to be twitch.tv backslash combo breakers. It's combo with a K ending in a Z combo breakers. As soon as you type in combo with a K, we should pop up. Should be me and a bunch of dudes playing Tekken. Like literally a lot, a lot, a lot of dudes playing Tekken. Uh, I see you, my dude. Hey, there we go. Okay. So let me switch over here real quick and show you what I'm talking about. So Tekken is very weird. So the first four movements people need to learn how to do are very basic. Tapping down gets a side slip to um, the uh, towards the screen, right? It's a single tap. You can see my inputs down here. Let me cash from that real quick. There we go. Just a simple down input. Um, if you ever played Smash Bros, it's a tap. If you press down, you're gonna duck. It sucks. Likewise, into the foreground if you hold to jump or press it down too long up you're gonna be press jump but if you tap it you're gonna get this nice little side walk to the background right uh, I didn't know that. oh yeah the tap and it's gonna be this is gonna be this is gonna blow your mind because um, this this is, this is gonna this can change the game up so the next two movements is tap forward one time depending on your character it should be a little drastic little step forward Right, so forward step. All right, light tap real quick, 
and then you have your back dash, which is two taps. Now the fun part about this is that Tekken, as you've probably already figured out, your feet kind of feel like they're in quicksand a little bit, you know? Like when you're trying to move backwards and try to cover distance, you're like, man, I'm just, I'm like stuck in the mud, kind of. That's why we practice on the water to kind of sell the point. But there's a technique in Tekken called movement canceling. So when you tap down into a sidestep, this can be immediately canceled on frame one into any other movement other than sidestep. So we were practicing to get used to it. Press sidestep into the foreground and immediately press forward. And you look at my inputs and even my hands down here on the hitbox cam, it's just, now you can slow this down. You see how slow I'm doing and it still cancels or you can, you can do it real fast like I just did. Forward step. What, what's, the, what's the significance of that, Mario? So because the significance of this. So um. So the significance of this is breaking the the restrictions on movements. Movement canceling is how we end up moving like this. See, see how much faster I'm moving now? Yeah. So I'm teaching you the basics of how to break movement. These movements in and of themselves mm. aren't super powerful, but without knowing how the movement system works, you won't be able to do the advanced movements, which is just a combination of these four buttons. <laughs> like Almost like combos in and of themselves. So um, down forward is the first, the next one I teach people. Because down cancels into forward. Forward cancels into up. Down forward up, down forward up, down forward up, down forward up, right? Down forward up, back dash. And immediately now my, my my movement is freed up similar to how it would be in Soul Calibur, right? But you gotta you have to know that side steps, which is down and up, they cancel into forward and they cancel into back dash. So a lot I um on and I know you play on a, a stick, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging to get used to the timing to get this square step down, forward, up, back dash, down, forward, up, back dash, down, forward, up, back dash. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. it's so important to learn how to break the movements in this square because we're gonna I'm gonna teach you different patterns, right? Different L movements, different um, forward and back movements that comprise Tekken movement. And then we'll move on into wave dashing and Korean back dashing later on and then offensive and defensive movement and side steps and sidewalks. I think that if Tekken didn't have any other buttons, this is about as much buttons as people learn for other fighting games. Because let's say in Street Fighter, you got jump forward, jump back, shimmy, and then back dashing <laughs> and, and forward dashing. That's it. You don't have to worry about yeah. anything else. <laughs> no, man, that, that really helped. That really clicked with me because I've been like back on it for about a couple of weeks and just kind of digging into YouTube and for a point to start, you know, like you said, when you started, it feels like you're in, your feet are in quicksand. Me come from Street Fighter, right? Yeah. And what you just said, that whole square thing, that, that really clicked. Oh, yeah. Uh, for me. Pre yeah, man, look, I'm so glad that opened up some things for you because that small square that we're doing, if you think about the the, um, the the stage from the top down, you're only moving in a square, right? For, you know, down, yeah. forward, up, back dash. Tekken movement is literally nine squares. So let me just show you real quick what that looks like. So that was our first one, down, forward, up, back dash, right? That's a little square. If I wanted to be defensive, like I wanted to just keep my defense but get some space, I do back dash, sidestep, back dash, because back dash, side. Look at that. Now I'm yeah. back dashing and sidestepping away from him, right? You could do it the other way. And this is how I tell people to learn how to retreat in Tekken first. Because. You think sidestep is a dangerous thing, like, oh man, I'm, I'm sidestepping, he's gonna catch me with buttons. Sidestep immediately can cancel into block. So if, you, if you're sidestepping, 
and you see someone, when you do the back dash, you're already blocking. So the next thing, Meso, I want you to practice yeah. is back dash, side step, back dash, side step. So the back dash is just pressing back two times? Yeah, so it's back, back, up, tap up, back, back, tap up, back, back, tap up, back, back, tap up, or back, back, tap down, back, back, tap down, back, back, tap down. Once you get, and you don't have to do this fast. Long, here, here's the other thing about tech and movement. It's not speed dependent because you can cancel from frame one till the end of the movement's over. So once you I get. I just realized that. <laughs> now, look at this. Like I was telling you, I was working on um, the canceling. Like, it's cooking, it's canceling, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, I wasn't getting the timing. But, like, when, once you just said that, um, there's no delay. Yep. Once you learn to use the cancels in this game, movement opens up right and now you're able to go to where you need to so that's that movement that i just showed you guys and i want you guys to write these down because i'm only going to give you the next few inputs in three three input parts right so we have back dash Damn, did you record this bro oh no this is all re all being recorded dog like it's all, i'm gonna okay, put the bro. i'm gonna have the vod up as soon as this is done it'll hit youtube i'm gonna run a rerun of this tomorrow and then it'll live on YouTube forever because not a lot of people find a lot of value in doing this content for just YouTube. And I might just make a solo video for it, just explain. But this is like, you know, day one basic tech and um, that it's too it's too low brow for most YouTube YouTubers to, to, to go ahead and, and tackle. You know, it's like, who needs no, to learn no, that? Much? Good. Yeah, but yeah, uh, no, it's good. Like I play, I'm OG man, so I played it back in the day on PS2. You know, right. Um, but then I put it down and. I Street Fighter, right? So, um, like I knew some of the basics, but you know, like these tips are definitely helpful, man. Oh yeah, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to get you. I look, we're going to get you right. You know what I mean? Because that's what we do here on this my, my stream. Is basically we go over techniques on whatever level, from beginner all the way up to my level. And if I need something a little bit more highbrow than my own level, I will find. A player to come in and teach us characters like next week I've got boss juice coming in teaching us Ganryu, which is my main character so that's an episode really for me but I'm gonna record that and keep it and we, we got all kinds of stuff that's pretty dope on this channel man so I'm really glad you're able to stop in and that you're jumping back into Tekken because I did I think I started this a year ago and I, I learned all this stuff and I was like ah oh, man I'm about to share this with everybody all right so the next move we want to learn is the the, 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 the basic retreat a baby retreat right this retreat can cover you in a bunch of different ways so back dash back three buttons back dash hold press back why is this important I'm gonna let y'all know this in a minute Meso come over here I want you to just jab at me furiously mm. what does the back dash do it completely negates short moves. You don't have to worry about jab spam in your face. Even if they hit your block, keep keep it on them. Keep it hitting my block. Just go ahead. I ain't tell you to stop. Oh. Oh. As soon as I blocked, I was able to get away. That second hit ain't gonna hit me. And if I know that second hit's not gonna hit me, keep going. I can punish immediately. Keep going. Keep going with that stupid jab spam that people online will do. Block, backdash, punish. That's backdash back. No one will ever tell you that's a maneuver. Now let's let's say Meso, let mix it up. Throw some low, throw throw like jab and then go to a low. Now I notice my backdash back is weak to lows. This is where I go to another maneuver. Back dash, down back. Guess what the great part about this move is? If I'm back dashing, right? Automatically, I defeat short range jabs. But because I'm but up because I'm back dashing into duck, I can catch all manner of lows that come back after me. And guess what? Once I duck and block, 
I can cancel into another backdash. Those two maneuvers, retreating, cancel all defensive shit, right? Mix it up. Go to go to you know go to like jab mid or something. Wait, wait, hold on, Mario. Uh, teach me that. Like, show me how to do that where you were backdashing the jab. So, remember when I told sure you that. earlier with the the jabbing, uh, blocking, and then sidestepping? Mm -hmm. All I did was block and backdash. Watch, I'm gonna keep throwing jabs at you. Block, then backdash. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tekken is, no one will ever teach you this. No one will ever teach you this because they want you to get stuck in some stupid shit. <laughs> Long, whenever, whenever you're defending in Tekken, a lot of the times people are gonna run up, do a jab into something else, jab into low. You know, then right. they try to throw a mid. I will block that first shit Here's the thing about movement. Remember when I told you movement can cancel into itself, like tapping down will cancel into forward, forward will cancel into up, forward will cancel into down, forward will cancel into backdash, all that. Blocking cancels into movement. So if you block something and move in the middle of the block frames, you will move on the first frame you're able to. Oh, uh, uh, so that's like buffering. The buffering. Exactly. Exactly. Now it's a little tricky because some moves will put you in so much block stun that you, you know, you have to buffer out at the end of that block stun, but you know, jabs don't have that, right? Um, so what happens is backdash back beats highs and mids and short range moves. Three things are beat. That means they can only hit you with a low, right? To which you can do backdash down block. Block it, right. backdash it, down block it, right? So now you've really reduced their numerous amounts of offense in this close range scenario to one of two things. You, they, they've got to choose high, uh, a low or a mid, which is the only 50-50 in this game. Mm. Now watch this. Meso, go ahead and do the same thing you were doing before. You gotta try to hit, hit me fast. You gotta hit me like you mean it, man. <laughs> All right. You see how, me, how easy it is for me to sidestep his jabs? Yeah. The sidestep, they call it a sidestep. Think of it as a left and right slip, like a boxer's slip. Ah. Uh. And you're definitely gonna need that, especially going to the higher levels. This, when, when you're able to read what someone's intent is, you'll know when to slip something. Like if I knew you were gonna jab all day, I blocked the first one. This is how I beat Harangs. D Weave comes in with all this kick, 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 kick. I just block yeah, one yeah, of them yeah. in sidestep and immediately punish because all of his kicks are linear. So I block and sidestep and punish. Done. What kick, kick, kick? I ain't finna sit here and block that all day. You crazy? So that's why these, when it, <clears throat> go ahead. When it comes to Tekken, like newcomers, y'all have to make sure to stick with it. Um, like it's a wonderful game, the higher you go. Absolutely, man. So like uh, Long, I, I gave um, I gave Meso a, a workout that I, that I used to use to get more familiar with the basics of movement in Tekken, right? So, you know, yeah. while, you're, while you're like, while you're practicing your combos, right? I do this. I do these little squares, down, forward, up, backdash, and I try to get good at canceling it, right? I do a combo, and then I drop three of those. Do a combo, drop three of those. And it really, it really helps this left hand get more limber, because you're gonna need that. Yeah. Hey, DW Davis, you're absolutely right. So, here's the interesting part about this, right? So. Meso, do you know your homing moves? Homing move? Um, what, what is that? So the homing moves, you know what they are? Because they have this white dust trail. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know mine. So now those are meant to stop me from slipping your attacks because they, they're, they think of like Street Fighter, I mean not Street Fighter, but um, Soul Calibur. They're horizontal moves, right? Mm. 
where's where's yours? Um, which one's yours? Oh, let me. Um, try try forward it? three. Try forward is, three. Is it like the unblockable? There it is. That's it. Okay. That's one of them. Okay. So um, in the chat, right? If you go into Combo Breakers chat right now, we have some Moobot commands. If you put exclamation point guide in, the move the Moobot will bring up this Google Doc that has a guide for everyone, <laughs> and so you oh, can okay. know what their homing moves are. DW Davis, go ahead and go ahead and click that link. Um, but yeah, let me go here, and if you click this and go down to the bottom of the page, you'll st you'll see Akuma, Elisa, Armor King. Just click the arrow until you go down and find your character. I'm gonna try to find Master Raven here. Master Raven, boom. All right, so your homing yeah, moves. Right All right. So the homing move is forward three. Is that the only homing move she got? I guess so. I guess so. But yeah, DW Davis, we also have exclamation point frames. Exclamation point um, punish. And exclamation point overviews. These are all of our guides that we use to help everyone. In, oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, this, these are the guides that we use to help everyone in the chat uh, get familiarized with things that they may not know, whether on their opponents or anything else. So we got general guides, which we use for our tutorial nights. Next week, we have a local um, competitive player by the name of Boss Juice coming through. Um, the guide has been updated with animations. Hey, oh, that's what I'm talking about. The guide's now got animations on it. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, um, DW Davis, dog. So we got guide for everybody's kind of general, kind of like cheat sheet on their character. Punish for a lot of the moves that they have that are punishable, if you ever wanted to know how to punish a certain character. Of course, we got overviews, which is kind of like a bra. Boss, Boss Juice is coming next Tuesday, D-Weave. Next, D he's gonna be our Ganryu teacher. You ain't gonna have to. You ain't gonna have to listen to me, dog. You're not gonna have to. You're not gonna have to listen to me at all. Okay, I'm gonna be learning from Boss Juice. You know what I mean? And so y'all all are gonna learn this. I'm gonna level up. Ganny Man is gonna get hella strong. The Dirty Palms is only gonna get more dirtier for the Dust Koi boys. You know what I'm saying? Um, I might. I might. I might. Uh, I might. Uh, yeah, I know he's in y'all class. That's how that that is how right. I had came because I, I was sitting there just trolling, you know, just going into the, the the class, and then I see his name is one of the students. So I was like, oh, hold up, bro. I was like, I hit him up. I'm like, hey, you remember when you beat me for like two hours straight, dog? How about you come on my stream and teach me how to beat other people? How about we do that? He said he was down with it, dog. <laughs> I'm actually going to show how much he had beat my behind in a video before he shows up here so y'all know it's real you know what i mean all right so long talk to me how you liking this movement so far uh, i'm loving it man i'm loving it I'm learning a lot already you know? um that's like i was really feeling like the movement was all slow as hell and, um you know it was just like two pop two plus um, but like how you broke down how to cancel um, really kind of opened another door. Oh yeah, welcome, welcome to the the pathway, the the narrow and jagged path on the way to good ass Tekken. Because yeah, um, man, you know, yeah. uh, you know I'm a Street Fighter fan. I mean, you know, from the Street Fighter days, so uh, when I get into something, I definitely uh, get into it. Though. And I know it's possible to make the crossover because in the community there's a guy who right. goes by the name of Pleasant Man. And you know, Pleasant Man yeah. used to be a big street. Now he's into Tekken. And when I watch him move in Tekken in such a short time, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Uh, DW Davis, oh. the Google Doc, is a uh, kind of like a public, like a, a community guy that was on Reddit. It's been being worked on over weeks and months, and it's, it's ridiculous. Um, so it constantly gets updated. Um, and it's it's just it's just a wonderful resource. But yeah, long. Go ahead. What you saying? I was just saying I, I like how it's just much more realistic. On the outside looking in, if you don't play it, and you look at it, you're just like oh, I don't look real, you know. But just like the left and right hand, and the left foot and the right foot. Yes. That built into like you know the whole theory and 
functionality of it all. Um, it makes it a whole, in its own game, right? So no other 2D fighters are like that. Right? I mean, this is a 3D fighter. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, they, they, they've been honing this craft for years. And it's get, it gets to the point where with some characters, your jab, your square, if you look, it's your left hand. That square is always going to control your left hand or some move that uses your left hand in some way. So when you see someone using a hand, you can guess which way to sidestep them, right? Just sidestep to the opposite hand, right? right. And it, because each one, so in this game, you know, in Street Fighter, you had your frames, right? On at, You had your active frame, your, your startup frames, your active frames, your frames on block or on hit, and recovery frames, right? right? Add all of that in Tekken, but also each move hits to left, right, or dead center. Every move. And that is why the movement is made to be commands on their own, because each individual movement is meant to counter each individual move at a specific time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now you know. Not... <laughs> like a better counter is obviously like the stronger moves or whatever, but if I sidestep and I hit, the right arm or use the right arm it's gonna hurt more do more damage in, in a sense so um for example if he's or just jabbing me combos. if he's just jabbing me right even if i block this if you look at the frame data he's plus one on block right. in in a 2d game it'd still be his turn and ain't right. nothing i'm doing to punish this all right but if I sidestep, I get a big launch. That launch is going to take 25% of his health. Mm. He's left himself wide open for the counter attack versus just blocking and punishing, which a lot of times avoiding a move can give you um avoiding a move in 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 Tekken can be used for multiple situations. Number 1, you're avoiding a big laggy move that you can get, you can see it coming from a mile away, you know it's what they're gonna do. So you sidestep it and do your biggest launcher, right? Cause the recovery frames are trash most of the time. And that was a jab that I punished. This down forward two is 16 whole frames. 16 whole frames. And I was able to punish a jab that is 10 frames. That's number one. Number two, a lot of the times avoiding a move, some moves, you want to avoid them because if you block them, they're two plus, or they'll be able to set up off of your block into some sort of 50-50 or unblockable tech chasing situation. And so sometimes, if you can, if you can read that that's what they're gonna do, Mishima's come to mind. If you know they're gonna electric and you can sidestep it, you're gonna punish them big time versus trying to guess high or low. You know, it, I always say this in Tekken, if trying to block high and low don't work, try to go left and right. <laughs> if left and right don't work, like, um, so here's, here's, here's another example of building off of what we were talking about. So, um, Meso, forward three is your homing move. Or I'm um, sorry, uh, forward X, I think is, is three. Okay. Or is that X? Yeah. There we go. That move. Right? Now you notice the homing move because it's got this, this chalk dust on their limbs. That basically means that that move cannot be sidestepped under any circumstances. So usually everyone has a couple of those moves to stop someone from sidestepping. You see? You see? Yeah, yeah, now, now the mind games begin. Oh, is my opponent sidestepping all of my linear jabs and moves? Cool, I'm a jab and then throw the hook at him, and he gonna step yeah. like an idiot. Boom! But here's the rub. Exactly. That is insane. Exactly. That's insane. Yeah. Everyone, everyone has them. Look at mine. That's one that's high, right? And then I've got another one that's mid. Some people have homing moves that are low. It's treacherous, right? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this, right? Those moves, a lot of times, you have to block them. But do your, do your, do your homing move. Look at his homing move. Most homing moves leave you so negative that if they're blocked, you're gonna get hit. 
You see? Punish. And I and I punish him into big damage setup. You see what I'm saying? For my character, anyway. So, the game now, you usually have a lot less homing moves than you have straight moves. So, those are usually used in hard read situations. If I'm way out here with Zafina, and I'm using this move to attack your knees, and I know, hey, man, this guy's going to want to sidestep this move, right? And all that jazz. When he sidesteps, I hit him with the, <laughs> I hit him with that. You know what I'm saying? I hit him with the homing move to calm him down. Stop sidestepping. And the minute you do, I'm going back to my mid linear move. Stop sidestepping. You see how that kind of works? It then becomes a game of yeah. reading your opponent's intentions if you both know the same skill set. So going back to what we were talking about. So go to do the jab, 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 jab sequence. Now how you'd stop me from doing this is go jab into four or three. That move. You see how when I sidestep it, no matter which direction, I get hit. Mm, now that's crazy. It is crazy. It would be crazy if I didn't know that movement canceled into each other. Watch. I am going to sidestep like I was doing before and still block your homing move. Try me. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, didn't I tell you? Nice. Side steps be canceled into blocks at any frame. So I don't even really know why homing moves are in there. Because if you knew, your sidestep can be canceled into a back dash, or block, or duck. <laughs> I could just avoid all of that and not play your game. So now you're stuck sitting here. Go do your jab and then side. Try to mix it up. Jab into whatever move and jab into forward three. I'm just gonna, all I'm going to do is sidestep and block. Now, see, look, sometimes I'll get that sidestep, right? And your move looks the same. I can't tell which one of those moves is coming out. You know what I'm saying? But. Doesn't matter to me, I'm safe. The worst is what's gonna happen, I'm gonna block one of those. You see what I'm saying? I'll even sidestep into your Man, foot. That's the worst. Go ahead. I'm gonna sidestep into your foot. I don't care. Oh, you okay. You better tighten up that offense or I'm gonna punish you. You gotta attack me like you're afraid of me attacking you back. There you go. You can mix up the kicks in there. And so all you're doing is just you're blocking and then- Look at my, look at my inputs. Down back, down back, down back. I'm bored at this point. Down and back. What the fuck is a Korean backdash? I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Why am I running halfway across the screen when I want to do is stay in here in your face so I can press buttons afterwards? You feel me? Mm, because guess yeah. what? You do that jab into that kick. There you go. I'm punishing. Why am I, why am I, why am I scurrying away halfway to cross the distant lands? Though I, who? This ain't this thing about Street Fighters. Who got projectiles to be face fighting way out here? Now I gotta run up on you and telegraph my attack like my name is Naruto. No, we in fight around here. That's why I say blocking is your friend because you can always move after a block. This and I'm teaching you defensive movement first, right? Because I think it's very important to understand how little you need to do to acquire maximum damage right maximum interference so if you come in and do your jab and your kicks whatever remember your your, your kick is negative 10 i could punish that with a jab punish 
Punish. Punish. And I'm counter hitting you, actually. So when you say that, um, like, so how did you pull off that counter hit? Because you were pressing jab after your kick. Yeah. So how did you how did you do that? Like, how did you know that you can do that after the kick? Like, oh, my jab is ten frames. Your kick is negative ten frames. Oh wow. Okay. Mind players, man. I don't, I don't have to watch your attack. I know the math. So, if you look at the screen up here, on the, the screen, this is why I like this stuff. So, we have, for every move, you have the startup frames, which my jab is 10 frames. If I hit you on block, I'm plus one. That blues means it's still my turn, technically. Right? You're negative one. Throw your kick. It's a 14 frame kick. It leaves you negative eight. Right? I can't really punish that because my jab, my fastest move is 10 frames, right? But I get the counter hit because you were pressing a button after the kick. Because in your head, you're like, all right, I kicked him, maybe I could sneak a jab in. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Because usually what'll happen is if, let's say you do the jab into kick, I'm gonna sidestep and I'm gonna block, right? And you try to jab again. I get the, I get the hit counter hit and I'm in stance to go massive armored launcher you know what I'm saying it's not even fun so try your homing move try jab in the homing move there you go notice the homing move is not normal now if I just press sidestep trying to sidestep you'd have caught me like if I was just anticipating the jab. A lot of times I do sidestep back punch. And I still get the punish. And if I can punish with a jab, that means all my jab combos are punishes. That is how you do Tekken. And even if I decided to backdash, see if I didn't know you were gonna do this, right? You jab me, and then I just do backdash back. I'm out of there. You see how I know that second one's gonna miss? That means I can come back with a punish since I know that one's gonna miss. You see how that, that, that pans out for you? So I'm gonna try it on you. So we're just gonna do jab, 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 and I want you to practice backdashing. Now Long, when you're at home and you don't have anyone to practice against, go to the record function. Set your opponent to jab and then down forward one. Jab, down forward, in rapid succession. Jab, down forward one, right? Okay. The jab is used to set your, is your, your setting, right? So you'll block the jab, sidestep the down forward one. Figure out which direction you can sidestep a move in and that's how you're gonna start developing defensive strategies against certain types of characters. If you get hit by a move, go on practice mode, set your opponent to jab, and then do that move, and then explore the various weaknesses. Is it weak to the left side? Is it weak to the right? Am I able to block and punish? If I block this, is it low high? That you got it. It's it's kung fu, man. You got to learn people's fighting styles and martial arts and how to take them apart. So if I'm just sitting here doing this, right? First back dash. There you go. Remember, you're gonna get hit if you go to that side. So you gotta sidestep to the other okay. side, right? Watch the hand that is hitting you. Move opposite of the limb that is hitting you. There you go. And this is good for me practice because I need to practice hitting my diagonals at the same time anyway for just frame inputs. Remember, black, 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 block, sidestep, block, back dash. Ah, you see how the back dash was effective? There you go. Now, Meso, write this down as well. Setting your CPU opponent to jab and then do a move immediately afterwards. 
like pretending that the jab is part of the combos. I'm like jab down forward one, jab down forward one, jab down forward one. It's gonna show you how to break through their defense and it'll help you be get like a little training shadow boxing partner because what's cool is if you really wanna test your skills, set them to jab down forward one, jab then jab, jab then some sort of low, jab then some sort of mid and then put all of them on random and see how well you can maneuver around, right? And one is square, right? Yeah, so how it works is, um, look at the hitbox cam over here. Just these four buttons, right? See what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, so let me jump in full screen this mug for you real quick. Um, do I have the hitbox cam? There we go. All right. So, these four buttons here is what we're focusing on. Just these, these that I'm touching. One, two, three, four. That's the annotation. And it's cool because if you've ever been in um, a boxing class, they go like, one, two, one, two, jab, cross, <laughs> jab, cross. It's the literal same thing. This is why Tekken is one of the greatest fighting games ever. It's a true fighting game. So, if, really you know, is. jabs, one, one, two, is what a coach will yell out when they want to go jab, jab, cross. Notice that's also the Mishima's square, square, triangle. Jab, jab, cross. Right? Even Steve, you'll see that a lot, right? So, one, two, three, four. So, if you ever forget, always start with square is one, triangle is two, three, and four. And three and four go for your feet, right? Left side of your body right side of your body. One and three, odd numbers is left. Two and four is right. So whenever you hear somebody say, oh, yeah, 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 down forward, two, four. They're meaning down forward, two, and then four. Down forward, two plus four is down forward, two plus, or, or two plus four, right? Let's do one plus two, it's easier. Down one, right, which is down plus one. And this probably doesn't help your notations, but you know, down plus one, forward plus one, back plus one, down forward one, down back one, you know, up forward one, up back one. That's how these work in, in Tekken. If that makes, if that helps, hopefully that helps with the, uh, the notation is there for a bit, but you, it, it'll help because everyone talks that language when you're looking stuff up online. And when you're looking at our guides as well, it's also a situation where, um, it's like, you'll see down forward one, 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 two, two, three, three. It, it's they're they're referring to those cardinal directions right there. Um, all right, let's let's go to before I before I end up. Um, oh, it's an instrumental album. Cool, because I didn't want to get caught up in no copyright stuff. So, so let's review. Breaking the gates. All right, share play is gonna stop in three minutes, and I have to invite you again. But um, breaking the gates, right? Down, forward, up, back, back. Down, forward, up, back, back. You see how, how, how fast I can move? I can, I can cancel so fast, I don't even move in a direction. You see, you see how quick that gets? Yeah, that's crazy. What Man, movement? That hitbox, I, that hitbox I, you got is <laughs> sick with it. Dude, the hitbox, look, I learned, I started to learn this hitbox back in MK. After I realized how good this is, I was like, I'm never going back to another peripheral again. That's why some first person shooters players swear by the keyboard. Right? Yes. Because they can get their movements. It's WASD. It's same. The hitbox is a little weird to get used to, but it really, I swear, it is w, WASD and space. It, it is faster in some respects, and in some some respects, it's slower. The reason why I say that is, um, if we take a look at the hitbox cam down here in the corner, up is this button here, which on the keyboard would normally be space. Now, see, I'm an old school player as well, right, and I used to play a lot of games on keyboard. So I'm used to having the keyboard be the jump button. You know what I mean? And then yeah. having forward and back and down, the W, A, S, you know, the W or the A, uh, ASD part. So this ASD in space. So for me, the, tr the 
the difficulty was getting my brain to see this is up and this is down. You know? Instead of this being down yeah, yeah. and this being up. That, that slows you down quite a bit. But as you start getting over that, it becomes... It's... You see... You know what I'm saying? See, I'm tough fast I can get those inputs in there. And that's because I'm playing movement with two hands. And you probably... Some people say, well, dang. Dedicating your thumb and this hand to movement is weird. Yeah, it was weird. Trying to figure out whether I should just use this hand. And I just was like, I keep both thumbs here. So I can use either one. Whatever feels good to me, right? But here's the crazy part. Once you get past that, you can do cheap shit. Like hold back, press down back. I'm not pressing back anymore. I'm doing pressing down forward. And I'm moving backwards. How this works, I forgot. Hitbox has a tutorial. But the hitbox give you the distinct advantage of being able to press forward and backwards at the same time. And up and down at the same time. All right. right. So yeah. Because I'm definitely having a hard time on the controller, like, uh, doing that. Now, I'm going to show but you something else. Take some time. I'm going to show you something else. Let me switch back over to the hitbox cam because I've got all the peripherals here. So I want to show you guys how they how it kind of works for each of them. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how easy this stuff is on a controller. And you know me, I don't even play with a controller. You know what I mean? I don't even I don't even touch this thing. Hold on. Let me let me let me show y'all real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I'm going to show y'all how easy this is about to be. It's going to blow y'all mind. Tekken is not a speedy game. This is an old man's game. Right? Let y'all know this right now. So, let me plug in here. There we go. So, I'm going to go to the old... So go ahead and join again. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? All right, hold on. I got to find a different cord. Hold on. I'll be right back. Try this cord here. If this cord don't work, then I don't know what will. This happens when you don't play with controllers no more. You just they just show up dead everywhere. All right, so let me let me try this one now. Okay, here we go. Got some juice in this, right? Cool. All right, go ahead and jump back in, uh, Meso. show y'all how I'm gonna show y'all how easy this is gonna be um, here in a sec with the controller I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up to the the camera so you can see what my inputs look like um, let me know when you when you jump back in or if you can jump back in rather There oh, we go. Press start. Hey, me invite you. Uh, I think you got to send me the invite. He, he just. Gotta, um, start. All right, all right, all right. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, start it off. Porty, porty. Share play. Oh wait. 
art share play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Share play, start share play. Hit okay. Long, how you doing over there, bro? How's that movement feeling now? Yeah, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm just practicing. Long, have you played in any tournaments? Hey, yo, Kevin oh, Kerrigan, dog. Appreciate you for liking the stream, okay, bro. I always love the support. Guido! Hey, look. I will... Look, one of these days when I get some more time, Guido, I'm going to okay. join y'all for that Mario Kart stuff because... You know what I'm saying? I, I I ain't no slouch in Mario Kart. I ain't the best either. I ain't winning no Mario Kart tournaments at uh, in no fighting game community. But, dog, what's good, man? How you been lately, dog? It's been a minute. All right, let me... Did you get the invite, Meso? Let me try it now. Jump in. Guido, bro, how you been? For some reason, it still isn't started yet. Okay, I mean, I got you. Don't worry about it. What's that haymaker called again with the white sparks that come out of it? Oh, we call those uh, homing moves. <clears throat> um, So you're using okay. Akuma, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, so... One and two. Let me see. Frames, guide. Let's see what this guy's homing moves are. His most notable homing moves. We're just going to... I was saying, like, when you do the slip or whatever, is that when you should do the homing moves? So homing moves counter slips. Any sidewalking movement, okay, okay. that's what they're they're used for. In like, um, Are think you, of it's horizontal. So jabbing out of slips or what? Um, so the slips are used to to slip any kind of horizontal move, jabs, front thrust kicks, straight elbows, you know, those kinds of moves. Now, yeah. In this game, each move is given the category category of is it a, a vertical move, which all jabs are, um, or is it a move that tracks to the left or the right? Meaning, does it hit anybody stepping to the left or hit anybody stepping to the right, or is it a homing move that hits you whether you're stepping left or right? So for Akuma, his his notable homing moves are four and back two. This four? Four. Yep. It's just regular okay. old four. You'll see the white sparks coming off of it. It's really hard to sidestep Akuma because he can just slap you with four and get big damage off of that. Or back two. Those are his his notables. Can you you can't combo off of them though, right? Some of them you can, depending on the character. Some people's homie moves are combo starters. Okay. It's real it's real stupid. <laughs> this is what some people yeah. can do in this game. Um, right, right. Why, man? My controller is so dead. It's just gonna keep disconnecting. Hold on. I noticed his you noticed his damage it wasn't as bad as it is in Street or his health isn't as bad as it is in Street Fighter. Yep, it's that's because there's no health values in this game. Everybody got the same health. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> I didn't know that. But, hey, GGTV, by stupid, I know you mean great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had one of those combo starter homing type moves, you know. They, they come in real handy. Man, it's still charging. Okay, party. But, Cap, we're going over some basic uh, hit okay for share play. Jonathan, play with the visitor. And we in there. Okay, we should see it now. Join. All right. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and. So, Meso, before we jump in, can you see the hitbox cam here? You see now it's no yes, longer the hitbox see. cam, it's the raggedy, raggedy old controller cam. All right, so, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same movements. <laughs> Look at this. Up, down, 
up, down, up, down, up, down. So I'm gonna do the same exercise we did. Down, forward, up, back, back. Down, forward, up, back, back. You see how slow I'm pressing the buttons? I'm not even looking anymore. Do you see that? You see how my inputs are all perfect? Oh yeah. That came from just listening to music, watching Netflix, and having this on the side. Hell, I practice it with an empty controller. Y'all y'all think I'm playing. I will do this with an empty controller. If I don't have a hitbox, I will tap the top of a desk to the same rhythm because it's all really muscle movement, darn. Okay, let me, let me try this again. Okay, so what I was also talking about before, back dash back. You see what I'm saying? Back dash up, back dash up, back dash up, back dash, and you gotta tap that up. You can't hold it or you get down. You can't hold it too long, you get jumped. See what I'm saying? So, um, when I was telling you earlier, um, uh, even Korean back dash. Or back dash canceling in this sense. Korean back dash is true diagonals, and I'm not really good at those diagonals quite yet. You know? But um, you see how you see how it doesn't take so much um boy this controller is really this 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 controller is really getting on my nerves trying to charge this thing it's been dead for months so <clears throat> now i'm playing as you by mistake <laughs> it's all good um try out yeah. the movement Don't worry about it. Let me, let me, let me, let me. But you see how, did you, did you get a good example of how fast this should be? Yeah, I was able to see it from if your you, controller. If, if you need me to, to do it again, you know, it's, it's uh, 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 down, forward, back, uh, 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 Back is the only button you have to press twice at the beginning. Back dash. You don't have to, you know, if you want to do a four, I, I, I try not to forward dash too much at people, but I, I made my point. You can you can see that it doesn't Tekken doesn't require that much um, fast movement at first. Once you break the gates, then you can move as fast as you want, as long as you're breaking the gates. If you're not, you're gonna get stuck in the mud. You see what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Oh yeah. Yeah. At right, first, so, it really did feel that way, though. It felt like quicksand when I was doing the back there. Oh yeah. Oh like yeah. When we first got on here. Oh but yeah. Now I can kind of feel my movement a little more fluid. Starts to open up. I mean, this is like not even day one. Imagine a hundred days of doing this. You'll be moving without even thinking. Now you're just thinking about where you want to go, right? So, I taught you some defensive moves. Being able to block something, back dash, back dash right you can block something in sidestep block something in sidestep this is when we found this out on the stream like a couple of weeks ago we all lost our collective minds like and i was like guys try this out is it real tell me if it's real it was real it was very real quite real um so that's defensive but you still need to use offensive movements right you can't just defend all day so here's the question if I am here and you're over there, how do I make it to within striking range of you without you popping me with some random ass move? I'm a, I'm gonna throw that question out there to you guys, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you guess. Uh, you you got a four, three. So you said four three, okay? What about you? What about you, Meso? Can you repeat that again? If, if we're standing this far apart, look how far apart we are. And yeah. I want to get within striking distance of you, right? How do I do that without you hitting me first? Mm. 
Or rather, how would you no. you cross this distance without me hitting you? Dang. You know what? I probably wouldn't try to cross that distance. Um. Oh, well, what you can do is you can dash and then block, just like you were saying earlier. Ah, now we're getting it. So I'm going to teach you the safest way to approach in Tekken, which is called a dash block. Okay. Forward forward is dash, right? This is why I didn't teach you dash first. It's a very risky maneuver because you're committed. <laughs> you got to cross. That's a committed move. If you hit me in the middle of this forward step here, you see I covered a great amount of distance. Like one forward dash is about two back dash spaces worth of, you know, getting in there with this chick, right? But you could just pop my pop me straight up while I'm doing all that jazz. So how do I protect myself? Well, like I told you guys, forward cancels into side step, forward cancels into back. You could do forward step into back dash, which is what I do a lot of times. I do forward step into back dash, and then what happens is it causes a reaction out of you. Or forward forward block. Do you see that movement? Let me run it back for you again. I just kicked my butt out. You see, I just, a um, little hip bump for her. You see the little it's hip like bump? Shimmying. It's like shimmying. It's exactly like right. shimmying. Instead of, but shimmying is different in fundamentalities because shimmying, you're doing this backwards and forwards movement to try to make them whiff on their getup. What I'm doing here is I'm canceling the distance of my forward dash. You see how long that goes? At any point during that, I can cancel into a back. If I even see you push a button immediately, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Forward, forward is one, two. The emergency break is that three. Look at the inputs here on screen. Forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back. Immediately stops my forward dash momentum and puts me into defense mode. Now that's a, that first okay. lot of characters, that's a good way to get in, right? Because you're bullying your way in. You're basically blocking while advancing. And the faster you do it, you can you can cancel this back dash. There's no there's no limits to what frame you have to cancel on. Immediately. That's a fake. You don't even know that I was gonna go. You just see me like a little, little faint, like, eh, little bucking at you, like, come on. And what happens when I faint? Two things. You're gonna freak out and press kick, to which I will whiff punish. You're gonna freak out and press kick, to which I will block and block punish. <laughs> Do you see how I treat movement now? I'm always moving in a way that allows me a little way out. Now, now if I have a big distance to cover, right? I just slow the gallop down. For those of you on 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 fighting pad land, it's literally just one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. You could slide. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see the, the second, the forward back is my slide motion. Slide forward, slide back. You see what I'm saying? Streak Meso, jump up in here. I'm gonna give you control of this player two real quick. And then I want you to try this out. Long, I want you to also try this out. Everybody in the chat. Jump in practice mode if you don't know about this. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's start position clearing history. All right, go ahead, jump in there. Press start. Okay. Now, forward, forward is just dash. So I just want you to dash just two, two, two times. Don't run. Get a feel for how much space. Look how much space you cover with a forward dash. Two forward dashes should get you in from anywhere in this game. Unless, you know, so you, you got a short forward dash like Ganryu. But compared to how many back dashes it's going to take you back to reset from one forward dash. And you can see why it's such a risk to commit to a forward dash, right? Yeah, but... I don't know why for some reason my character is running 
again, taps, short hop. If you hold, if you hold that forward button, you're going to run. Uh -huh. It'll, okay. This is why the arrows are here. Two. You should don't look. See all these ones? I should do. I should only see two. Right? Tekken movement is about precision. Yeah, it is. You see what I'm saying? It is. These hey, you can't get lazy when you're in a high level battle, too. You can't. The laziness is going to cause one mistake because guess what? At the high level, everyone knows these same movement patterns. So they're able to read what you're doing because they know how to do it too. So if they see that you're going in for a dash block, they may decide to engage with you by dashing in and then grabbing because they know you're gonna block. Oops, you got lazy, wasn't paying attention. Instead of dash blocking, you should have pressed 442 and dash attacked. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's always one of the two movements is gonna beat each other in every situation. Even when you're on the ground. We ain't even gotten to the ground attack, ground ground stuff yet. But one it's one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. That's that's the kind of cadence. I don't know if you can hear it. Listen to the music. Let me turn the music up so you can hear it. This is why this is here. We, I like to call it rhythm and groove. I'm going to turn the music all the way up. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Play that. Play that master. Chow. Nice song. The Kung Fu. Master. You hear the rhythm? You hear it? Yeah, Please yeah. tell me you hear it. You hear it? One one two, one one two, four four back, four four back, four four back, four four back. Ba 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 ba. You hear that rhythm? You hear that rhythm? This is why I do rhythm and groove sometimes, man. I put on my favorite, you know. 808 drums and just go to work because you can catch if you if you ever was into drumming or anything like that when you were younger you should know so usually with these things i start real real slow one two back one two back one two You know what I'm saying so if you could do forward forward back then you could do forward forward down back why would you do forward forward down back well if you know somebody likes to start their their keep out move it's a high then you do forward forward down back I do this against D weave all the time I do do forward forward down back he'll click clean over my head and I wake up and kick him <laughs> because I know his opener to keep me out is a high. So I do 4-4 four, four down back. Now, what if you're what if you're um you know that they're gonna do a low? Guess what? Do it what do you have a good low move that you use to keep people what do you use to keep people away from you as Raven? That move? If I'm running up on you, that's the move you use? That's the move, yeah. Okay. It's so oh wow. Forward, forward, back can always be forward, forward, down, forward. Because down, forward is still blocking. And I'm looking to parry you and not block you. And the same way I can, I can do that, I can do back, back. Oh, so you think. 
Dog, do you know how many times I can run hundreds of replays and where I've done Ganryu's while rising two as a launcher every time you try to do that high spin rooney move kind of keep me out? You've recently stopped doing that. But that was that was what you, it was either one of those two things. It's front thrust kick or that. When you when your opponent only uses those limited amounts of moves in a certain situation, you can always figure out how to get around it until they start doing other moves. You've recently started doing other moves, and that old strategy has been had to be thrown out. I can't rely on that. Front thrust isn't high, but check this out. You only use front thrust in a certain amount of situations. And how many times I just run up on you and duck and then do his big slap? You only have two moves. It's a 50-50 chance. It's a literal 50-50 chance. Is he going front thrust kick? And front thrust kick, mind you, is sidesteppable. So even if I ran up and sidestepped and ducked, which is what I usually do, I defeat both moves. Ask Mike about it. Y'all, 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 after this class, when he goes over the homework, want to test it out, I can just show you replays, dog. It's already been done. Already been done. <laughs> Like this is like. <laughs> hey, I kind of seen some of it too. Dog, you've seen this happen. Everybody's I've seen this happen. The, I've been in the mess, you know. Dude, everybody's seen this happen. See, what happens is D Weave doesn't realize that his patterns back in the day were literally like stay back here, front thrust kick, or armored spin kick. And he used to catch all of us. It still catches Cap to this day. He no longer does that against me, y'all. Right now, my man's done got sophisticated. He's throwing lows out there now. He's throwing hands from out there now. He's throwing all sorts of other moves that are catching me. Right, so now I can't rely on that old strategy. That old strategy is outdated. If that strategy no longer works against the current D weave, the current D weave is like he says, there are other moves. So he's using other moves out there. But if y'all ever fought man, a harang, let me face him. Yeah, if y'all ever fought a harang, what do they always do from him. range? 99% of the time, front thrust kick, spinning armored move. It's not until you get higher level that the harang start to actually come in and mix it up. They were bad habits, but those are those are habits that dog. Greg does it. Every harang does it. You know what I'm saying? All of them do it because until someone starts punishing it, why do you have to do anything else? Now that I started punishing it. Dewey was just like, oh, no, nah, see, you're not going to do this to me. And, like, last time when we were fighting him, or the stream before last, I want to say it was last week, Dewey, it was, it was the first stream we had all fought in a long time. You was destroying all of us. Like, I'm like, yeah, just beat Dewey with this way, and ha, 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 ha. And Dewey was like, nah, fam. <laughs> yeah, so the sidestepping the thrust kick, if you do sidestep duck, you see this movement, Dewey? Mike is gonna teach you about this. This beats both the thrust kick and the spin. Because if the if I sidestep and the spin and the thrust kick doesn't come out, I'm immediately ducking. And guess what? That beats the spin. That one maneuver beats that entire bad habit clean. So I usually go to step first. Especially when I'm out here. I run up, step, and then duck. It puts me just off axis enough to dodge the, the 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 front thrust kick and the side kick because the front thrust is so much longer it comes out way faster you see what i'm saying like it hits from way over here so i gotta dodge that one first in case you throw it out now that same that same logic will defeat a ton of gun you shit as well hey usually when you're doing that move you're not in flamingo if you're in flamingo i'm not running up on you that's what I'm in when I do that. Um, if Flamingo's the one where you have your legs up, right? If I'm, if I'm, if I'm being sure, because usually when you're doing that, both of your feet are on the ground, and you're like this, and you go aya front thrust kick, and then you or you go aya back turn kick. I'll never try to run up on you when one foot is up, cause that well, that's too many moves to try to predict. I ain't trying to run up on no flamingo. Usually when you do flamingo. I usually just run in with an armor move. I just say, fuck it, YOLO, stop stop standing on one leg. Because <laughs> I can't guess. I can't guess. But no, I'm talking about this specific one-time instance when when you got two feet on the ground. You know what I'm saying? 
So you know you don't have the full range of like the mix up of Flamingo. And also before you weren't, you were waiting on us to run up on you and then kick us. Now what you're doing is we run up and you advance, sh you know, shutting that down and then you get into Flamingo and then you do all the crazy stuff afterwards, which I don't have anything for just quite yet. You know, I'm going to be honest, that was, I, that was on some Naruto anime type stuff. I wasn't really prepared for it. Um, okay, so Street Meso. Now what I want you to do, stand over there. I want you to try to stop me from hitting you, right? I'm going to run up and press a, a punch. If I touch your block, you've lost. I don't know, bro. You gotta hit me with a button or something. Kick me, something. You don't, you don't just let somebody run up on you like that, do you? Okay. Give you a running start. All right. So you try to run up on me. That's what I'm gonna do to you. I'm gonna hit you before you get there. Try to run up on me. Go ahead. Every time. This is why dash blocking is important. That's why dash blocking is important. Because when you run up on me, I'm going to hit you before you get here. And see, when you dash block, guess what? You get into my area safe. Now, you can dash block immediately after you press... What's the frame on block? For which move, uh, d -Weed? You see how you're stopping me from getting into your face? That is called keep out. You're keeping me out. Now, if I run in and dash block, you can't keep me out. That's the best you can do. And I can still come in for all kinds of stuff. Ah, you see, you see how I'm able to block immediately? Now, subsequently, I can do a forward dash into sidestep and completely dodge whatever move you were throwing out there. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see how that worked? I do that with Ganryu all the time. Okay, lapping everybody alphabetically. Yeah, that's good. You see how I'm able to jump in, dive? Jump in, sidestep, back dash. Run in, sidestep, back dash. Run in, sidestep, back dash. Run in, you know what I'm saying? Run in, back dash. Run in, sidestep, run in, back dash. Now, how, when I'm gonna come in on you is different. So I'm going to leave you guys with that since it's 930. One offensive movement that you should get used to doing for for block. It's called dash blocking. You can look it up. Some people tell you how to do it. I practice this. I Korean back dash backwards, dash block forwards. That's my warm up. Right? But you're not going to be on Korean back dash yet. You're going to be on back dash sidestep. So follow me with this with this with this drill, okay? Back dash side step. Do it again. So you back dash to as far as you can get and then four dash block. And then when you get close again, You see what I'm saying? Yeah, good looking out, Mario. Dog, practice this up, dog. Um, and you'll see me. Um, hey, d -Wee, don't be switching to Z right now. Don't be trying to lab up Zafina right now, man. I don't even know this character offensively. I have yet to lab her yet, right? I am still with the same knowledge that I had yesterday. I just jumped in to teach some movement, right? 
So that's those are the two. That's a forward move, a backward move, right? I don't want to put you guys on too much because there's there's at least like 40 different steps after this. So, but I want you guys to get to the an L movement, which is back dash side step. We're Lotus, we're going in an L, back dash side step, and interchange it. Back dash side step into the foreground, back dash side step into the background until it feels so fluid that you can do one of these numbers. Now, try to roll up on me. See how I'm able to just kind of skirt around? I'm able to, no matter how hard the pressure is, back dash sidestep wiggles you out of the pressure. I could do, you know, sidestep, you know, back dash sidestep low. Back dash sidestep block. And at any point in time, I could stop the shenaniganery and come up with that. A lot of times, I just back dash to get enough space to hit you with a low. Um, and then, of course, breaking the gates, which is up, forward, down, back dash. Down, forward, up, back dash. You can start with back dash, down, forward. You can start with any button, really. Whatever button you want to start with, but remember, intentional movements is what it's all about. <clears throat> Hope y'all were able to learn a little something something there. Um, and it helps you out, at least on the onset of learning some of the some of this is foundational stuff for movement. Once you master this, this little breaking the gate thing, and do it in reverse. Do it in reverse backwards. Start it off with up, start it off with down, start off with forward to where you don't have to think about it. Then you're ready to start doing the things like back dash side step, back dash side step, back dash other side step, back dash other side, forward dash side step, forward dash side step. And then you wanna try forward dash back, forward dash duck, back dash back, back dash duck. I'll write down all of these, but it's usually threes, you know? Side step, back dash, side step, forward dash, right? Four dash, side steps, usually one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're always gonna make an L shape or some kind of square or some sort of U. But when the, when the Koreans talk about playing the game, they don't see this as a, 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 a eight way run game. They see it as moving in squares, which it exactly is what it is. It's a grid. If you type a checkerboard- uh, Mario, watch me move, dude. <laughs> Watch me. Ooh. Oh, it's on. I hope I run into that guy again. Keep practicing, man. This is like some white belt movement stuff. But as you start using this in match, just remember, hey, I want to get out of here. If I back dash, I do a quick sidestep and back dash again. That's almost like doing a Korean back dash. It's like bootleg, bootleg, bootleg. But at least you still get kind of the idea. You know what I'm saying? Dude, they can't hit me, bro. Look, feel the wind. Feel the wind in your hair, dog. They Look at you skating around. Me, <laughs> you, your Yo, feet are... Hit <laughs> Appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate it, y'all, man. Look, this is what I like to do, man. A, a lot of times when people jump in there like, man, I need to train up so we, I can get these ass whoopings. I'm like, no. Come in here and get these ass whoopings now. And we'll all... Like, the whole team. Everybody, even the people on stream and the people in the chat, everybody, they've been asking questions that we come in here. And a lot of times, this is what my stream is like. We run through some stuff and then, like right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite y'all into a, a, a lobby and then we're gonna put this into practice now. That's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, return to main menu here. I'm gonna go online. Um, I'm gonna invite both of you guys. And we're gonna, we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're, right, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some fun with it. And that's what I like to do. Sometimes we'll do like, we haven't done this in a while, but sometimes we have nights dedicated to just throw breaks where we play a game called Tekken Judo and you're only allowed to do throws. You know? Yeah, D, D Weave will help out. D Weave and DJ Calf, they're taking uh, classes at the Tekken Tech University right now. 
Um, so they're in more intermediate classes. Um, and so they're, they're brushing up on these skills as well. We'll do tech and judo is like, think of a martial arts class. One person is the dummy, one person is thrower, right? The thrower is there to help the other person learn how to throw break. They're not trying to win, they're not trying to do anything. So we go, all right, cool. Learn to block one throws, learn to break two throws, learn to break one plus two throws. We teach you how to break them, and then you spend three matches just trying to break those throws. And then when you get used to that, your training partner then kicks it up a notch and tries to mix them up, right? And then when you get used to that, your training partner then tries to do some tricky things, like throw a jab in there every once in a while to stop you from being so used to just looking out for that. And then we graduate to a little judo sparring, where both people are trying to kill each other, but with nothing but throws. It really helps drill in that whole breaking throws thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so before I get D Weave in here, um, let me let me just get the both of you guys in here. All right, I think you gotta take me out of uh, share place first. I think you can jump out yourself, can't you? All right, let me see. Let's see if, if you can finish. leave the. Um... I'm sure I should be able to. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm inviting the two of you guys first. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, um, for these first couple of rounds, since this is more, now that it's online, it's more um, real time. I wanna see what you guys can do as far as uh, movement goes. And then we're gonna do some um, sidestep drills, some back dash drills, get you guys comfortable with getting hit. Um, All right, Meso, you're up first. All right. So here's what oh, we're gonna yeah. do, right? I'm going to do very simple things. You'll know what I'm doing ahead of time and in advance. Um, and I'm going to pick Ganryu because it's kind of obvious to see his big old hands move. Put on my instructor outfit here. Also, it's a fun little thing that whenever we're doing the dojo, if you guys join in on the stream, if you can, create, uh, do a custom character of your favorite character and put him in a karate outfit. It just, it just looks cool. I'm just a sucker for aesthetics, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. We just tell everybody jumping in, in their geese, and that's how we know that, you know, hey, once, <clears throat> once, the, once the cool costumes come out, then we playing for real. You know, but when we're training, we all, we throw on the geese. I don't know why, it just helps. It helps get into the mindset that we're all here to help each other learn versus trying to beat each other up, you know? And for everybody in the chat, I want to say that as well. Um, it'd be disrespected coming with my shirt off. <laughs> nah, no disrespect to Dojo, because I mean, Haram <laughs> has the karate pants on anyway. He He's just real tired after working out so much that he had to take the gi top off, you feel me? Um, <laughs> all right, so here's the exercise, right? You, I'm gonna show you what moves are gonna come. Ganryu has a very like neutral stance, so you can kind of tell. <clears throat> I'm only gonna be one of these upper uppercuts gonna hurt a little. One of them's gonna hurt a lot. So, <clears throat> so back up. So here, jab, uppercut, jab, uppercut. That's what I'm gonna hit you with now. So what I want you to do is backdash to defend. Block, then backdash. Block, backdash. Keep backdashing. You see how you eventually wiggled out? That's what you want. Block, backdash. And you gotta keep backdashing now. All right, come back forward. You see how hey, little- He right there, right? Oh, we're, we're um, yeah, he, see, went block, backdash, block, backdash, block. There we go, you see, you see when he broke away from my jab? He could have countered me there because he wh I whipped. You see that third one almost always guarantees misses. All I'm doing is three. 
one, two, three. You see that third one is just, if I keep pushing the offense, you know what I'm saying? And you keep back, back dashing. All you keep doing is pressing bash that back dash back. Another fun fact in Tekken, guys. You can't get hit out of a back dash with a mid or a high. I repeat, you cannot get hit out of a back dash with a mid or a high. Only lows can hit you out of a back dash. So be feel free to back dash back out of most pressure. Right? Now what you want you, now what I want you to do now is come up on here. I'm gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna sidestep to safety, or 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 on which sidestep? Okay. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, sweet. One sidestep, not a sidewalk. There you go. Slip that. Slip it. You know what's funny? This jab is plus three on block. You're able to slip even when I'm plus three on block. Think about that. Fight. Mm. Remember, block, don't back up, stand there. Block, sidestep. Don't back up, block, sidestep. There you go, block, sidestep. You're, you're only practicing sidestep here, so you need to take that first hit like a woman. And and, 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 and and you know what they call it ovary up you know what I'm saying <laughs> don't don't be a penis they're they're weak you need, to, you need to be like a vagina it's strong you need to take the hit and back and sidestep now remember you can sidestep you'll get the timing of it now sidestep the other way ready Woo! boy that was clean <laughs> clean you saw that do you see how much do you see how see see how crucial that was you've maintained your offensive presence now if you fuck up i'm gonna hit you with the launch good shit so far. good three rounds good three rounds think about it take take a lap practice it long you're up next i'm gonna i'm gonna run you through the same drill same drill all right this is really how i like to play tekken to be honest because it don't seem like it make much sense now, but when you're in the middle of a match, you start applying this and it starts clicking, all of a sudden you're dancing circles around people and it's just like... Pfft. Labbing is crucial, man. Oh yeah. To get good. yeah. And labbing in a way that makes it fun and interactive, I, I find helps a lot. You know, having like a it coach, does, like a mix. Yeah, because I, I can switch it up on you and teach you where you're like going, like, you know, real time, you know, and teach you why you should do these things and when you should. Oh, man, was I supposed to press X right there? Yeah, I didn't press X, so. Oh, it's cool. It'll, it'll run back to you. Oh, All right. I think he can skip. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I really like it, man. I always uh, appreciate it, Tekken from afar, man, being a Street Fighter player, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, now that I'm getting back into it, man, I can see why people love it. Oh, yeah, and the community's really welcoming, too. Dude, I'm telling you, you're going to love this game, bro. Like, you're going to be into this game. Just wait. Just just give us some more time. You're going to be oh, so into shit. this game. I didn't pick my brother. Oh, it's all good. Don't matter because uh, movement is yeah, movement. Yeah, I'm like two weeks in. I'm, I'm like two weeks in, man. We need to hit up 404. Oh, dog. Oh, yeah. Um, so the days that I'll go on 404 are random, but sometimes I'll go there on Wednesdays if I'm going to compete. I won't do the stream, and I'll go there on Wednesday. Um, is that Tekken night is Wednesday? Tekken is tournament. Tournament night for Tekken is Wednesday. Then you got Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday is blue-collar tech. Well, I think Saturday is just blue collar Tekken day where it's just like all the old Tekken heads just come down there to just play and have fun, right? And if you say you're new oh, yeah. at the game, they will welcome you in and beat you down lovingly. And then they'll tell you what you did yeah. wrong and everybody will share shit with you, dog. It's really cool. Like, if you go in there real <laughs> humble, just knowing that you're going to take L's, the first person I say you should talk to is Greg. He's learning from everyone who comes into his shop and he's actually been picking up... Um, you know what I'm saying? He's been picking up a yeah. lot of good stuff. Hell yeah. 
I would, you would too. If that was... Oh yeah, I have. I picked up a few things Go here and there. Humble. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm telling you, I went in a little overconfident last time, and boy, they got me back humble. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll get you back humble for real, for real. Round one. Fight. All right, so, all right, so long. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jab and do this move. Now notice, first we're gonna do jab and jab. So when you jab, when, oh, don't move, don't move, no backing up, no backing up. Take the hit, then buffer the back dash. So there you go. Get a feel for it. Block, back dash, block, back dash, block, back dash, block, back dash. Even though I'm plus three, let me back up for on you here. I shouldn't be able to stick to you for very long. You should be able to wiggle out. You get real good when you're able to take one hit and immediately black back dash away, but usually sometimes it takes two or three. How's that feeling for you? Oh, good. I all think right. I got the cadence. Yeah, all right, cool. Now that you've gotten that cadence down, right? Um, we're gonna go for another round. And then this time I'm gonna try to do a, a jab into something that's gonna advance me forward to try to catch you, right? So jab, boom, boom, boom. That second, j so with here, jab, jab, this, back dash after this to get away so that I can't jab you anymore, if that makes sense. Ready? All right, yeah. One, back dash, one, back dash, there you go. Now notice, you start, you can see the beginning of the back dash animation. Yeah. But you still get caught in the block. That's what I'm talking about. I can't hit you with the mid outside of your, outside of your block. You see, outside of your black back dash, I want to say block dash. Um, all right, so let's try it again. Yeah. You're getting it now. You're getting it now. And every time you, you can confidently make me whiff, you get the feeling that, oh, I'm going to backdash out of this. You can punish me because I'm going to be out here doing one of these numbers. You know what I'm saying? That's now, a punish right there, right? After I get that, that backdash. If you can, once you create that space, yeah. Because a lot of the times I'll backdash and immediately do one of those maneuvers because I know I've created the space. Okay. So what you want to do is backdash first. I'm gonna do the same cadence, catch it, get it safe first, and then punish, if you can get onto it. All right, so for the next 20 seconds, I wanna try something new. So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna jab and then do this, instead of back dashing, sidestep towards the screen. Block, sidestep, block, sidestep, block, sidestep. Other way. Block, sidestep, block, sidestep, block, sidestep, block. A little too late on the sidestep there. Like up? Uh, down. In, in your case, it would have been down. So what happens is, um, when whenever I hit you with that jab, during the block stun animation, you can tap sidestep, and you'll sidestep immediately as soon as you can it takes a little while to get used to it but you... I'm, i might be getting a lag as well man because i can tell i got like, some screen lag okay you talking i think is the best connection but when i was watching you guys play earlier a little, a little bit of gotcha lag. yeah 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 there's there should be i think between the stream there's a little bit so uh listen less to my voice and watch the animations because they're gonna be the same. So it'll give you time to yeah, kind of get I... used to the cadence. It's always gonna, I'm not gonna try to trick you right now. It's gonna be jab, uppercut. Two ways you can get around that. If I hit you with a jab, you're gonna backdash. The uppercut is gonna catch you. And then you backdash again. And you're gonna make the next jab with. Or I'm a jab. And I'm an uppercut, and you're gonna sidestep towards the screen, and that uppercut's gonna miss. So let's start off with the jab 
uppercut, and you're gonna try a sidestep defense first, and we'll see how that, see how you can catch that cadence. And I'm only going through these drills because these are easy to um, replicate for when you're in practice mode. You can set any anybody to like jab, uppercut, jab, um, like jab electric, jab hell sweep, you know, jab grab, <laughs> you know, and just play around with that and you can kind of have the computer run and do exactly what I'm doing um, but it won't have my wonderful voice you know what I'm saying that's that's the only the only difference <laughs> all right let me check in on the chat here D weave I mean you can make an active screen larger same goes for Harang flamingo kicks it's plus two. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll find out that plus frames can be so disrespected so often in this game it's kind of it's kind of crazy all right, so here we go. They, they can't hit me, bro. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna do it, cause you see how I'm using my left hand? Yeah. It's gonna catch you stepping we'll to that left CS. We'll so you wanna way. go that way. Yeah, 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 that's the, that's the way you wanna go. So let me turn around here, keep some screen. So we're gonna jab, all right, turn around, jab. So it's almost like you're, side, you're side, side stepping too late, side step faster. Yeah, definitely. Off there. You got it. So here's 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 how it's gonna work. Um so do you know the uh, down what's your down forward one? Down down forward one? Yeah. My fireball? No, nah, not not Hadouken, but like diagonal one. Down diagonal. Oh uh Should be an uppercut of some sort. Down forward and one at the same time. There it is, that move. Oh, okay. So you're gonna press jab into that move. That? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I think I need to slow down my button, like you were saying, you know what I mean? So what, what I'm doing I mean, is, a slow game. How, I, how I'm timing it, is the second you hit my block, I'm, I'm sidestepping. Alright, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to try it again. I'm going to try the follow-up. Okay. Remember, you got to take the hit first. You're, it's like you're sidestepping while you, during your block. All right, take the hit, block, cool. All right. All right, try it the other way. I'm gonna try a different move. Oh wait, this is a little slower. There you go. That's my launcher. That's my main launcher. That's that's usually my big damage move right there. And you see, it looks like it hits you straight on, but it really doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't track to my left side. So we're going to keep working on this, but you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. All right. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to keep doing this one because it's a little slower. All right. Getting good. Getting good. Getting good. I like it. I like it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now, what you want to work on is not waiting for me to stop hitting you and then sidestep. You literally are sidestepping while you're blocking. There you go. It takes a bit to get the get the mm. rhythm of it, but keep keep working it. And again, it could be could be a little bit of uh, input lag from the, the the online connection, but you got it a couple of times. Yeah. You got it a couple of times. Yeah. Keep working that. You could set the computer up to do exactly what I'm doing right now, which is jab, launcher, jab, low, jab, kick. Any one of the moves, yeah, no, use, the, use the jab as kind of like your, your signal to then to get the timing. Because eventually people are going to be hitting you with random stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's not quite as good to uh, just throw out sidesteps like we're doing right now, 
But in specific cases where you know a movie's gonna come and you're prepared for it, throw that sidestep out to the appropriate direction, big punish. Bro, I just realized I was blocking like Street Fighter. So you don't have to block. Oh, all right. So, yeah, okay. So the other thing about Tekken, neutral standing blocks highs and mids. You don't have to hold back. Like so you're just standing there, you don't press anything, right? So you're, you're when you're just standing, you're already blocking. Block. It's only when I, you're moving forward or actually <laughs> moving that you stop blocking, yeah. So a lot of the times, I'll just sit there and not press any buttons. Like, you're just hitting my block, and then I just tap up and sidestep and punish. <laughs> yes. So, yes, that's another thing that's, that's going to take a while to, uh, to break. Amazing. Not having that's to now. Awesome. Exactly. I don't care. Exactly. So <laughs> you two are going to be up and I'm going to watch you. So um, let's see. Because um, you guys both need to work on your diagonals a lot. Um, so the you can take a pick. Who wants to be offense? Who wants to be defense? <laughs> one of y'all got to pick or I'm going to pick one of y'all for um, you. I'll be uh, defense. You'll be defense. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll tag in like that. The person who was just defense will move to offense and will practice it. So, um, Long, I want you, this is gonna be you practicing um, one and then down forward one immediately. So it should be a jab into that uppercut body blow that Akuma has. One, this is gonna train you how to hit those diagonals. They're very important. Down forward ones, down forward twos, down forward threes, down forward fours. Staple. Yeah, I wasn't even incorporating down forward in my, my, my arsenal at all. Oh, dog, when I tell you, like, in this game, a lot of people's jabs, quote-unquote, the move that they use to check you and keep you in place are down forward one. Because it hits mid. That oh, means you so can't. Down forward and, yeah. And one is, like, the best poke. It's, it's usually people, most people's right? go-to best poke. It's just, like, a swift little body uppercut or whatever. Um, yeah, it's got good distance. Yep, it's safe on block more, most of the time. It's really fast. Another time, you get decent damage, and it hits mid. Most importantly, that means they can't duck it like a jab. Fight. That's it right there. So right. just once, there you go. There, that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. And Meso, you already know what to do. So you need to be practicing blocking and sidestepping and blocking and back dashing. Meso, don't 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 move preemptively. You need to stand there, take the hit, and then go. Yeah, take the jab first. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's not a bad thing to block a move in this game. That it's actually a good. It turns offense into defense a lot of times because if you know the frames, it's as simple as just pressing the button to punish it. That's how punishes work in this game. What do you mean? Like, give me an example. Like, so, um, for example, um. A lot of people's down forward twos are negative because they're launchers. Um, so they're like, let's say negative 10. I'll, if I know a move's negative 10, I will happily block it because I know my jab will always hit after I block it. No ifs, ands, or buts. So now that I know that, I just go into my jab string and take my advantage and then press the offense. All I would need to know is block a move that I know is coming out nice. and I will switch offense to defense to offense instantly. And that's why dash blocking is so powerful. Meso, don't throw no buttons. When you're on defense, take your hand off oh, of the offensive okay. buttons. Okay. All right. Meso, no buttons. You ain't allowed to punch or kick on defense. You're only allowed to move. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, throw, try to throw like your with your other hand because I want to see how to dodge that. Right. So try it down forward too. Uh, for for you long, and uh, I think that should strike oh. with his right hand. There it is. That's it. Hold on. It's that standing right. That's that thing. There it is.
There you go. Keep working them down forwards. There you go. They're very important to have to be able to hit on command. Now, for Akuma, it might be different because you can legit just play Street Fighter with Akuma and be fine. Yeah. Um, but as far as like getting getting used to Tekken, you know, what I mean those. Those down, those down diagonals are, are, are crucial. And on, on a, yeah, on a it's stick, very Tekken. Very yeah, Tekken. very Tekken. Hey, also, Long, you might want to try some other characters as well. Just to, because, cause, yeah, yeah, just like Mario said, Kuma, he does feel like a Street Fighter fighter. Well, well Long yeah, is coming from Street like... Fighter, so this is a good transition character for him. Yeah, once once yeah, he gets used to this, then then he'll test the waters with some some Tekken characters. That's I, I would say stay yeah. with Akuma for now. Like It depends on how good yeah. you are. If if you're yeah, good with law, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, try him and then go. You know, that. try another character. Yeah, I, I, w I would agree. I would agree. Um, now, law is he is he mid tier? One can say so. But the great thing about Tekken is, even if your character's low tier trash, you can still win yeah. Tekken Not Tekken yet. World Tour. Oh, yeah. Ask 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 Rank Chu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he came in with Panda, arguably the worst character in the game, and destroyed everybody. Because Tekken yeah. don't care about tears. Until, unless you're talking about, like, Geese and, and a few other characters, and they're just way too powerful. But, you know, you know, Leroy Smith, when he first came out, there was he was the tier. Right. You know? He's OP now, right? Nah, they, they nerfed him down. He's strong. Yeah. Nice, nice movement there. Nice, nice attacks. All right, uh, Meso, you're going to be up next on offense. I'm going to come in and do a little defense. Okay. And then we're going to do this dozy duel one more time, and then um, and then I'm, I'm going to sign off because it's past 10 right now, and I think we got a good workout in today. Um, but continue these continue these movements, right? Practice these every day so you don't have to think about them, right? That's how Tekken works. You just do, like you said, Meso, you jump in there and do it, do, do your kicks a thousand times. That's the same thing with yep. this one. You do a thousand, you do a thousand of these movements, it will become second nature. And once it becomes second nature, dog, now you're on to thinking of other things. Okay, I got the basic ones, now what am I doing? All right, well, I'll teach you a bunch of other ones, right? We'll go through and learn how to to sidestep, sidestep mid or sidestep low block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then we'll start learning Korean backdash. Then we, all right, now you can Korean backdash across the stage. Cool. Now you need to know you only need to do it twice to create space and then whiff punish, right? <laughs> Wave mm. dashing, doing the Korean backdash forwards essentially. You know, that's what the, the Mishima is always doing. They wave, 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 ooh. Hell sweep, wave, 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 ooh, overhead. That's all they're doing. They're just using this movement. And, you know, like I said, from the outside looking in, people don't know all this is going on in Tekken. They're just like, oh, these guys are just wiggling around like the Smash Bros. Nah, man, it's chess. It's 3D speed chess. Yeah. And some it's geometry thrown in. Checkers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of other fighting games can be considered checkers, you know, because it's just so simple what you're supposed to do in a given situation, you know? Ooh, I, yeah. ooh, I love this, ooh, I love this girl. But yeah, Tekken is truly it's chess. chess. And it's you chess. can even say it's dope. <laughs> right. All right. So you're gonna do your offense, and I'll I'm, do, I'm Yo, on defense. Appreciate it, Mario, man. Uh, Yo, know, Meso, uh, add me or whatever, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce, man. I'm gonna put the board to bed. Oh, for sure, for sure. Again, buddy. Hell yeah! Appreciate you for jumping in, man, and learning some Tekken. Yeah, dog. And... do this like uh, whenever, man. You you on, let me know, man. I always I want to soak up oh, all yeah. the knowledge I can, you know. Absolutely, dog. Every time I'm on, I'll make sure to message you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you guys have any personal questions, be like, man, I'm trying to figure this one thing out. Just hit me up, dog. Just message me. I mean, even if I, if I got the time, I'll jump in in the middle of the day and just like you know run run a quick few minutes with you. You know what I mean? Um, oh yeah. D Weave, man, I'm glad you even learned a few things too, man. Cause this is some of this stuff you'll know. Mike has been teaching some of this stuff as far as movement goes, you know what I mean? And um, this is all just gonna help you further your stuff, man. This is all we keep we all keep learning this. This is where it's at. 
Just straight up. Definitely. Definitely. Straight up. Yo, how do I add you, bro, from here, Meso? Um, you'll go to Players Met, and then you'll see Streak Meso. Or if you want, you can just oh, okay, type bet, in Streak bet. Meso, and I got right, you. Bro. Okay, bro. Hey, I appreciate the night as well, Mario. This is this is great, man. Dude. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Like I said, man, I'm trying to make this more friendly to people who are just not getting into the game so they can, like, it's get into It's a lot of information to dig through out there, dog. Without, it is. You know, you're just, you know, an arrow. If you don't have, like, that bow to guide you in, like, strategic, you know, things to learn first, it, it could be daunting, you know? Absolutely. Exactly. Dog. Exactly. Now, Long, one thing before you go, one thing I would recommend is, like, of course, working on this training, just like uh, Mario was saying, but also get in there and do just like how I did when I started off. I go in and I just play the game. And you're yeah. going to learn the different thousand kicks that's going to work. And then, you know, and plus you're learning your movement as well. But I, we don't want you, we want you to keep playing. We don't want you to think like, okay, I have to learn this whole lawyer book at first and then yeah. I can apply the knowledge. No, just go in there, have fun. And then, you know, you're, all, everything is gonna come to you on the way while you're doing your for, training as well. For sure, for sure, man, appreciate it, man. How, how do I get to your name again, bro? Go to offline? Um. You go to player. player. Well, matter of fact, what what's your name, bro? Because I'll just um add. That's you. Nobility. Nobility killer. Okay. Bet. So I I just add you. All right, man. Yeah, I see. You. All right. All right, fellas. I'll be on. I'm gonna jump on later, man. I hit y'all up if y'all. For sure. Um, all right. Deuces. All right, Meso, let's get some matches, matches in here real quick. I just want to just play, you know what I mean? Um, at least for the last, let me, let me get a few more in. Because I, I, I do not know this, this Safina chick. I'm really just now, I literally, this is day three that I've played her. And I've done uh -huh. zero practice time with her. I've literally just picked her up one day randomly. And then I was like, ooh, this girl's fun. And then, then I realized how much she annoyed DJ Cap. And I'm like, oh, this girl's perfect. And then I played against D Weeb. D Weeb was like, I hate this chick. And I was like, this is great. It's a good sign. And then she was annoying everyone yesterday. And I'm like, I don't even know this character yet. Bet. All right. Let the evil pour forth. All right. The darkness shall consume you all. That's, that, is, that is how this is being born. So now I have Gany Man. And I have, um, I have his new main boo. Hmm. Hey, and yo, know, and and uh, good game TV. That's DJ Cap. Uh, he said that uh, he's gonna come over and smack the controller out of my hand because he doesn't like how. Look, once I realize that this girl can hit you from halfway across the stream with damn near impunity, like I don't have to commit to nothing. Ganryu is such a whole different beast. I got to get right up in your face and risk getting smacked up a bunch just to land one little stubby palm on you, where she just gracefully yeah. just doesn't give a fuck at all. <laughs> at all stances i'm i'm dodging stuff like xiao yu i got labeled long stances i got armor moves long range swaggy spider style kung fu mantis style kung mm -hmm. fu scarecrow style kung fu it's it's really good it's really really good like d Weave said she annoys the whole community yeah yeah you know i, you got I get a that toolbox. she is the toolbox look at her look at her <laughs> on some evil kung fu so look at this Look at her. The women are, are really good in this game. Oh yeah, really good. And that's gonna be the bane of your existence all day. All day. Oh no, I forgot you. I forgot you, you know how to play play. This character, oh God, oh God, okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, enough of this now. Ah, oh, I forgot freaking Raven. Oh my god, unblockables.
Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Spoke too soon. Where's my Ganryu? There we go. Hit him oh. with a strong hand. What was that? You only, I only need four of those to... I only, <laughs> that's two! What? That's two! How did she do that? <laughs> that's crazy. Now I see why they said she's annoying. Oh, you ain't seen the annoyance yet. You ain't seen <laughs> the annoyance yet. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I didn't know that was gonna be the move. I'm playing with her some more though. Because yeah. as you can see, I don't know what the heck I'm doing with her. It's just, but this is the power of not even knowing what to do with her and still doing this. Raven is a little bit of yeah. a, Raven's a little, little, little she's tricky. She just is, I think. Yeah, she's different. I think just almost, almost just as tricky as Zafina. Because th there'd be times you'd be like, yes, I got the whiff. And it's like, no, she was still kicking somehow. I don't, but then she was still oh, kicking. Yeah. yeah, she got some different stuff. I like it though. I like it a lot. Alright. But hey, let me know when you go to um four four again, because I'm definitely trying to, you know, go when y'all go. Oh dog, whenever I'm going, I'll just make a habit to drop a post in combo nation. Um or scrub city now rather. But yeah, just keep just keep checking that. We post a lot up there these days. Um, whether it's new people coming in, uh, discussions, new videos, whether I'm dropping, I'll, I'll put up a rerun of this tomorrow morning when I'm at work. So there's a morning stream on Wednesdays for the folks who couldn't make it at night, and then there's an evening stream. Um, you know, just kind of getting people used to seeing the content. And then I'll just start dropping more announcements, man. Because, like, going down there with the homies is fun. Like, we'd be having fun over there at 404, man. I don't care what nobody say. We'd be up in there laughing it up. <laughs> Greg yeah, is cool. And, and we and we be ordering food. That's that's the crazy oh, part. Yeah. Last time I was there, yeah, we had, like, uh, I think we had some wings or something. Yeah, we had chicken this time. Woo. Okay. Woo. Woo. I just went. Woo. I just went vegan, though, world. So. Oh damn, for real? Yeah, that was last year. Oh, nice, nice, nice back, nice, nice back sway. Yeah, I'm starting. I'm, I'm starting down that route a little bit. I ain't going all the way vegan, but I've got to eat a lot more veggies and stuff. Um. I'm, I'm forgetting. Oh, cool. Key moves. I got. Yeah, I got it. You, gotta warm you see up that sidestep? You saw that sidestep so clean? Oh, yeah. The sidestep and the, uh, what's the name? Oh, that was an unblockable. Woo, another sidestep. Ah, damn, your, your moves are faster than mine. Oh, man. Oh damn! Okay. Wasn't fast enough. Was wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Well, I'm getting there. Bad. I'm getting there though. Look. Yeah. Darn. She got some Fangway moves. Oh, what in the world? So she can hit Zafina out. Hmm. 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 Oh no! Oh no! I forgot! You be pulling the trigger! <laughs> you know, I, hey, I do that all the time. I'm all, I do that like I'm a newbie. Nah, there's nothing newbish about that, man. And with Ganryu, I've realized when I'm in rage, you have to come to me or let me come to you, right? Because if you come to me, I'm pulling the trigger. The minute you raise yeah. your hand towards me, trigger. <laughs> <laughs> and then Straight when you up. learn to not pull the trigger and be cautious, that's when I can jump in and like do my thug fizzle. But I'm not going to use gun Ryu. You know what I mean? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stick with my guns today. I told myself I was gonna do this and learn 
play this new character. This is like those early days, right? You know? Um, yeah. You know, characters all new. You still doing Ganryu stuff, you know? Um, but it's great, though, because I'm about to start doing more Smash Bros. nights, too. You know what I mean? Like, um, so I'm trying to figure out when I can schedule that in and also when I can schedule in some Soul Calibur. Um, so I'm talking to the TO right now uh, from the Soul Calibur community. Apparently, he's the sensei, you know, master of the Turtle Hermit style, Micah. So I'm going I'm to hit him up and have him come over here one week and just teach Tekken, you know, and be like, hey, this is Soul Calibur week. Um... Wow. So I might have I might have a week uh, to to, to uh, drop tech in for the week and maybe do Soul Calibur. We'll try to see if we can get some good lobbies going. In um, if there's a weekend that I'm not like I'm at home, I'll be like, yo, let's run some Smash Bros. You know, like some casuals, just like how we used to do back in the day when everybody used to come over here, but oh, maybe yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do that uh, online this time. That'll be fun and. Um... You know, they got some brand new games coming out, like new fighting games. New... Oh, we're definitely with Guilty Gear XR, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we about to be in there. Hey, that's going to be my first one. So, I mean, Strive. Me, so. Guilty Gear Strive, right? Yeah, I think Yo, how so. did that even hit me, dog? But, yeah, that mug was fun. So, I'm a, um, I'm getting that. This going to be my first one. Creepy no jutsu, boy. <laughs> boy, she got a weird stance and fighting style. Oh, it's it's unorthodox, to say the least. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see what other moves she has. I'm still. crab leg, whatever it is. <laughs> hey, that thing has some reach. Oh, it's got all the reach. I'm Dawson out here, dog. I, I don't have to fight you close. Stuff. Your knees belong to me. Oh, man. Like, you going for the shins. <laughs> Messing with my ankle. From all that, the way over there. That, is, that Achilles injury, man. Like, I gotta play basketball after this. Oh, damn. Damn, I did Ooh, not see that knee coming. I didn't coming. expect you to get caught in that one. Neither did I. Neither did I. Neither did I. Well, you see, look. Do you see how annoying that is? Yeah. It's crazy. It's like so much distance on she, that. Her Man, low, low pokes. Her low pokes are godlike, dog. Finally, somebody who I have that can make people respect lows. Okay? I just need to learn all of the lows that she I'm only using one low. I'm playing her literally like Street Fighter. Um, so I know she has 442 that's plus on block, I think. And then I can go into lows after that. Um, she has a low she has a low combo starter. Um 
I don't I don't know nothing out of her stances yet, so don't ask me nothing about her stances. I just I just learned the names of them yesterday. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, I think she has. Oh, okay, she has she has some armor moves. Um, she has a command throw. So you got to watch out for that. And her regular throw goes into stance. She does a throw and she's in the creepy stuff and she ends in mantis stance. Oh wow. She has one other that's like hella good, like down three or something. It is down three. Thank you for reminding me, D-Weave. It is down three. It high crushes and it counter hits to combo and it can lead into stance. Mm. And it's safe. I think. Man. Yeah, she got some crazy like unorthodox. I'm trying to get used to her. It, it'll take a while because I'm not even used to her, so I don't even. <laughs> all I know is that your feet, mine. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. <laughs> I gotta figure out that feet thing. Free, 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 okay, free, free. Launcher, mm. launcher. Ankles, 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 ankles. <laughs> no one wants, no one wants to try to block low in this game. I've noticed people. She stole my socks. Chain music. Mm. Shoot. Make sure you want to do that. Shoot. No. <laughs> oh. No. It's oh! <laughs> Oh, it's creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The no fad hands. <laughs> She's just so creepy, dog. Yeah. Wait till and she got, and she she got, got the Disney Disney movie witch costume. Oh, that, that's, that's my Hocus Got Hocus. him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Fighting out there will do you no good. Ah, dang. I thought I, I sidestepped the wrong way on that one. Just sidestepped the other way. I think she's sidestepped left. Okay. 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 Uh. Oh no, nice launch. That's big, big, big girl damage. Yeah, I tried to do the full combo, I dropped it. Oh darn, nice grab. And there, I, I missed up the side steps, down forward two. <laughs> I was like, let me figure out something. You was figuring it out though, dog. Here. You was figuring it out. It's <laughs> like, what am I missing? If your man wants Raven, Master Raven stuff though, I can. Okay, yeah, D Weave, you play Master Raven? Nah, he played against me before, remember? Nah, he said, uh. Oh, he plays it? 
Yeah, he said uh, if you, if you want some Raven stuff, he knows he knows some things. Oh, D -Weave, D -Weave's been playing this game for a long time, dog. He's been playing. He's been he's an OG Tekken player. Like we got a lot of people who've been playing this game for like. I think yesterday we were talking about like what's what was your first um like your first Tekken. A lot of people in the chat, a lot of people on on comms are like, yeah, Tekken one and Tekken two. Like, jeez, y'all old. Yeah. I mean, I'm old. Y'all old. I mean, I used to play Tekken 1, Tekken 2. Okay, you all I too. Played. Yeah, I played the heck out of he Tekken. Old? I'm very old. <laughs> I used to play that arcade days, man. That that was old school, old school, man. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Old school for the old fools. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, Maybe my bad. DW Davis, I thought that was D Weave. Y'all both got DW in front of y'all name. Hold on, I'm tripping, tripping. It's DW Davis in the chat, bro. My bad, my bad. Uh Zipper, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 30 round here, old hey, look, hey bro, I'm gonna let you know I'm like 35. That's tomorrow. So we old old round here, you know what I mean? We 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 we, we old old. Yo, yo. So your birthday tomorrow, man? Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Happy birthday in advance, my brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And for a birthday present, I'm gonna take two ankles. <laughs> I ain't trying to get them ankles mm, up. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> Hit the wall. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Dang, dude, you're going to be 40 this year, dog. Hey, welcome to the old man club. I'll be up there with you in a couple of years. Hey, y'all need to let me know how y'all age so gracefully. Black don't crack. <laughs> and that's really, that's Give me really. Some tips, man. Black don't crack. Do what you, exactly what you're doing right now. Go vegan. Now, straight up, like, you know, a lot of people not vegans, but like, their lifestyle is super, like, conducive to living better you know um yeah for real man. well i noticed that uh you gotta take b12 too yeah i mean you gotta stock up on vitamins for sure and to be fair if you eat nothing but meat or a lot of meat you're gonna have to stock up on a lot of other vitamins other than b12 because <laughs> you're just not getting mm. hey but i do miss some little pepper wings though hey man I'm gonna put you on game, dog. Like, lemon, pe lemon pepper cauliflower puffs? <laughs> I don't even know how to hit me, but we're we gonna let that, we're gonna let that slide. I saw that sidestep so clean. Oh, you, you <laughs> Uh. Wait till I learn her. Wait till I learn her. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Foiled again. Foiled again. Hey. Hmm? Once you get some more time with her. Oh yeah, nah. Look, it's gonna be look, crazy. Look, look, if I didn't if I didn't know any if I didn't already have a, a high level Gondryu Pokemon, I would be stressing right now. But yeah. I don't even know a combo with her yet. Wait! Just wait! Hey, let me face Garu. I haven't played him in a minute. All right, all right, bad, bad, bad. I'll pick, I'll pick Gandy, man. All right. I'll pick Gandy, man. It's been a while since I played Raven with Gandy, man, anyway, so. Now, this is my um, Hollywood Ganryu. You know what I'm saying? This Ganryu joined the NWO. So, um, <laughs> you already know what he's about to look like. He He's in the Illuminati. He has so many moves. <laughs> He knows the dash, forwards, and all the movements. He has, he has all of, he's, he's got all of the thick boy energy, man. Don't worry about it. It's Hollywood Ganryu. Yes. Now, let's see if you can uh, take what you know. You 
See, I even got I even got the black and white in the picture, so you already know what it's about to be. And mm. we in the and we in the wrestling ring. It's the WCW. I gotta get, I gotta get Raven a, a costume for the oh, next gotta, time we in the dojo. Yeah, you already know. It, it sucks because the girls don't have geese, so it's hard to make. Yeah, look at it, Holly, Hollywood Gamer, you boy. Let's go. Let's go. We do. We just pick them up, and put them down. That's... <laughs> I keep forgetting there's a slide after that. Oh, man. And the loaded up. <laughs> instantly. I don't even care if you hit me, dog. His shit has armor. It, <laughs> as soon as I feel a hit, I'm gonna I'm come down with the heavenly slap. Man, he can't hit it. Comes in real fucking handy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Does Koi? The sumo wrestler. Yeah, man, that, like, on command, anytime somebody is running at you, once they commit to a run, you can sidestep that easy. Easy. And even you didn't even have to guess. You just close your eyes, sidestep, punish, you know? Um, okay, okay. Back though, man. All right, let's get it. Oh, but you are you are you on TikTok, by the way? Do you, do you use TikTok? Um, I should say. I'm not. I need to I put you on not, game, dog. Not yet. Vegan TikTok is the truth, bro. You will never run out of tasty food, ever, ever. Okay. You don't even miss lemon pepper wings, to be honest. You get an account on there? Let me know. I'll start sending you some shit. Okay. Yeah, there's so many apps these days. You on Clubhouse? Uh, no, nah, what's Clubhouse? I've heard about it. Wait, is that the one where it's like a um, live messaging thing? Um, it's like a group, um, like 
networking thing. But I'll send you an invite. I actually got an invite. Oh shit, yeah, that's the one you gotta get an invite into, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, throw me, put me on. Like, put me on for sure. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah. Big dammy. took that one. I literally, instead of doing that stomp, I should have just did my super. It would have caught you on the wall. Yeah. But sometimes I just want to win in like classic sumo Tori style, so I'd be like, yeah, stomp it! Sit on it! I'll squash you like a butt! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the dodging has to be something that you intentionally go for until it becomes second nature. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I think I need it second nature. I need to practice it more. Look, just look. I'm telling you, man. It took it took us weeks of dedicated practicing sidesteps against each other in matches for it to start to click a little bit. And even then, for it to really truly be effective, you have to know everybody's moves and which way to step every move. Because mm. each move has its own ways to step. You know what I'm saying? So you hear Kazuyu and it's like, oh, sidestep or sidewalk left. Well, that'll work for Hell Sweeps, that'll work for one other move, but it won't work for like a quarter of his move list. You have to know which ones to sidestep left. It just so happens that those are the ones he's gonna probably go for more often than not, just because that's how most Kazuyu players play. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's it, nothing's ever guaranteed in this game. Yo, how do you get your Tekken prowess up? Um, it's a combination of how well you do on ranked, plus how well you do on ranked with all other characters. So if oh. you're like me and you only have one character, you're only gonna you're only gonna have so much. Ooh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't even play ranked. Anymore. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how you get your rank. It's how high you're ranked with other characters, plus how your your grades are with those characters. There's a lot to go into it, you know. You 
won't. You won't. You won't. <laughs> Did I not tell you? Well, it's going to take you a while to learn. I'm in rage. You need to calm down. I'm mad. I'm mad. Hulk smash is on me. I knocked the blue power raid out you. What you what you trying to do? What you trying to do? You trying to make comebacks? Hey man, that power aid juice, man. And hey, that power aid's for it all. Hmm. Boy, did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? Oh, God. Did I? I ever, <laughs> 10 out of 10 times. 10 out of 10 times, dog. Oh, oh. Yes. Yo, appreciate the like on the screen, Vishal. What's up, bro? I know so much weird things about Ganryu that people people be like, how the that hits? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. In a couple of very specific situations. I when I learn a character as a person who's like primarily like a a mind character, a lot of the times I'm playing the game and I'm not even around the system, dog. I'm just thinking like, oh man, hola, if this means that, then this should hit in that situation. And I would write things down to try out in the lab. And I'll add them as hidden techniques. Don't know why. Sometimes they're never useful for like a year or two. But I'd be like, ah, my plan worked. <laughs> now, D-Weave, he done figured out how to counter. He's like, don't give Mario time to think. Just smother him. Just beat him down. So that's how he does it with Horan. He just comes in and gives me the foot business. Yeah, I'm ready for us all to, uh, yeah, play again. Hell yeah, man. And I look, this is my way of like hanging out with the homies, also leveling up, man. Because when I go to 404, you know, you got the, the old school Tekken heads that be at the Tekken house. Then you got the new school crew, like Pleasant Man and Nito and all them. Then you got the 404 crew. I'm trying to get me a Scrubs Dubs crew. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to have to get me a crew too, man. Like, See, roll up here with our crew. I'm, what you I'm mean? A, I'm an I'm a unknown out here in these streets. I'm an unknown out here in these streets. <laughs> what do you mean? These, these, these streets in Scrub City ain't nobody known. We all scrubs. <laughs> hey, he's about to get these dubs. About to get these dubs, though. You know what I mean? Well, subs, for subs for the dubs. And everybody watching, y'all better sub. GGTV, GGTV yeah, of course. Good. Yes, that is good did, knowledge. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? Well, I didn't tell you his age, so I didn't know his age. But I told you he was older than me. You ain't believe me. You a youngin'. I told you we old men, dog. We are old men. GGTV. We are old men. Right? Playing old Tekken. Aw oh, dang. 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 Ah oh, dang! Y'all playing on PS4 or PC? Right now we're playing on PC. Um, but if you play on PS4, dog, I will, I will put, I will put together nights where it's just PC. I mean, uh, if you play on PC, I'll put together PC nights. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are an inspiration to me. <laughs> we're the true old kung fu martial artists, man. Oh, you don't want to do that. Oh, you don't want to do that. Mm. 
I play PC mostly here. Hey, all right, bet. So one day, let me know. Hey, um, DW Davis, go ahead and um, click the link below to join our Facebook group and let me know, dog. Cause I'll, I'll let I'll get PS4 night. I mean PlayStation. I mean, PC nights. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to fight and talk at the same time. This young man giving me the business. Hey, y'all keep distracting him. Hey, yo. <laughs> Appreciate the follow, dog. Hey, man. I don't, I don't like the distraction. DW Davis, appreciate the follow, my guy. Um, yeah, we are some old school martial artists, dog. What you mean? Mm, give me the ankles. Mm. 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 Mm hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Don't get drop kicks. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know. You're gonna get kissed. Catch, catch. Get oh he's about to catch the stink meaner. I'm now I'm, now I'm. Nah, did, you, did you really come in here with the jab? Like I wasn't gonna punish that? Like we don't go <laughs> like we don't see jabs instantly, dog. The trigger, ready. Bang! Wow. And I came with the nice block at the end you did if you, you did didn't carry through you did because it was a oh shit moment you weren't e you were you weren't even sure whether or not you pulled your hand back in time and that <laughs> is the, that is the power of the trigger it causes hesitation and uncertainty in gameplay but yeah dw davis uh below on the page man we have a we have the scrub city or I, it's called combo nation down there now but it's the link should work um to take you to the scrub city page all of us are on there. We talk mad stuff. Um, I po I repost the stream every uh, on the mornings. I, I try to get everybody connected, and I will eventually have a Discord. Um, well, I mean, we do, but it's not like you know put together and shit. That's what we communicate on. But I really want to build a community around motherfuckers just coming here and just punching each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to go out and find senseis to teach us. You know, we got sensei. Um, we got sent a Ganryu Sensei coming in, Boss Juice, next week. You know, uh, eventually I'm gonna get Mike KTL on here for real. You know, um, you know, Dez, all of them, man. Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the move. <laughs> hey, this is gonna be my last one, man. Sa same here, bro. Same here. These are good games, man. I, I look, you, you know who you need to talk to? Uh, what's her name? Queen Hannibal, cause she plays a mean Master Raven. Who? Uh, there's a girl who comes to 404 by the name of Queen Hannibal. She also is a Twitch streamer on here, so look her up, y'all. Um, she okay. plays a mean raven. That's that. That's her her main is. Okay. Mm -mm. What was you doing? What was you doing? Put that down. Mm, put that down. Put that down. Put that down. Whoa! What was you doing? Strong head. So that's how we gonna do, huh? That's how we gonna do, huh? Oh my God! Every time, every time, you hey, look. If you gonna get a hit off, I'm gonna get a hit off. We gonna see whose hit is more. You keep coming in here like you gonna kill me before I kill you. Stop! You see all thick boys, baby. Thick boys. You know what I'm saying? Look at all this weight. Mmm, boy. Look at all the weight. Mmm. Look at all the weight. Oh. Mm, what was you doing? What was you doing? What was you doing? Come here. Mm. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Grabbing cheeks. Grabbing cheeks. There, we even have a cheeks emote. That's how much cheeks Ganryu grabs. Like, I, 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 all I do is play Ganryu, dog. Mm. Come here. Cheeks. Cheeks. More cheeks. Break his, break his ankle. Oh, that's how you gonna do us? Ah, oh, bro. Boo! Mmm! Oh, what was you doing? <laughs> what was you doing? This is what we do with Sumo. Hinamaru Sumo in this mug. You think you gonna live? You think you gonna live? You not? Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh! Oh, called it from way downtown. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. Yo, with that being said, let me jump on up in here real quick. I appreciate y'all for coming through on yet another episode of Scrubs to Dubs. If you liked what you see, please go ahead and hit that like button if you're on YouTube and stuff. You know, I stream in a lot of places. Hit that share button, especially next time when you jump in. I appreciate every one of y'all for coming in, especially you, D.W. Davis, man. You stuck in with us for the whole time. D. Weave, I see you out here. Good Game TV, I appreciate the good looks. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to two of our students today. You know what I'm saying? Um, Long, uh, he's my homie from Street Fighter. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan, you know what I'm saying? Street Meso. Uh, hey. I, I, pre I appreciate y'all coming through, uh, and I hope y'all really all learned something. I'm going to put this out there again tomorrow. Um, now, tomorrow is my birthday, y'all, so I'm not, I will not be on the stream. I will catch you guys here uh, Monday because I'm going to be out for the rest of the week. But uh, Monday through Wednesday, next week, we're going to pick it up right again Monday. We're going to do some more tech and probably have a, a fun night. Then I got Boss Juice coming in to show us a little something, something. And we might do a little tournament on, on, on Wednesday. Who knows? But uh, with that being said, this is your boy, Hoo -hoo, Super M. And I'm going to catch you guys next time, all right?